evening, everybody. Wow, there are a lot of you here. We're really excited. This is different from anything we have ever done before. So we're super happy to have you here with us. Uh, yeah. We're going to be traveling up the ICW with you. So uh, we hear a lot of questions about what's the ICW like, uh, just all that kind of stuff. And then to add to it, we're all electric. So that's special. <laughs> so we're going to be um, kind of letting you, giving you updates on how our electric motor's doing, uh, what are the stats, and all of the uh, battery stats and everything. Uh, but for some uh, areas of it, you're just going to kind of be a fly on the wall watching us do our thing. Um, yeah, navigating through bridges. The ICW is just kind of bridges. like, yeah, it's, oh my gosh. <laughs> kind of just a ditch uh, in the side of the East Coast. If you're not from the US, uh, this is a way that some people go up the East Coast without having, or down, without yeah. having to deal with outdoor weather um, or seas. Yeah, it's, it's really relaxing and beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, so honestly, the reason that we're doing the ICW back up north <laughs> instead of uh, going offshore like we normally do is when we came down the East Coast, Every time we'd uh, we'd pop into the ICW, like get provisions or wait for weather or stuff like that. Oh, Charlie is climbing off. Uh, <laughs> sorry, she climbed over the ice head. She's very heavy. <laughs> so uh, every time we pull in, it was this, this like really cool town that we got to see. So we thought, well, we were planning which ones we wanted to stop in on our way back north, and we decided, hey, if all of them were awesome, why not see them all? So that's so what we're, we're doing. We're doing it. We're doing the whole ICW uh, from Florida up to Maryland. And so you're going to see our trip from Lake, no. Lake Worth. La yeah, Lake Worth to West Palm Beach. Yep. It is about a seven mile, eight, eight mile yeah. journey. And it's short. we're it's excited an to have you with us. So we're getting ready right now. The bridge that we are anchored right near is opening on the half hour. Hour and a half hour, yeah. So we're shooting for the 930 bridge. If we don't make it the 10 o'clock. And easy. so we'll uh, be getting the anchor up here in just a few minutes. And then we'll be kind of just idling, waiting for that bridge to open. Are you ready to get going? Yep, let's get going. All right. And, oh. This is going to be a lot of like hand holding There's of the, the camera. And so sorry in advance about yeah. the shakiness, but we're hoping to make it work. Again, we've never done anything like this before. So we're glad you're along with us here for, you go. for the uh, experimental adventure. Okay. Oh. Now, is there a way to change the camera around? Thank goodness there yes. is. Okay, I'm okay. going to follow Herbie up onto deck. First, always make sure the motor works. Because it's electric, so it doesn't, like, idle. So, solenoids clicked. Motor and started. we have thrust. Okay. okay. Now we do other things. <laughs> So our deck is a little bit insane right now. The other thing about the ICW is you don't have to have like an immaculate boat. Uh, yeah, it looks real bad, I know. We just got these bikes, so they're here on the deck. We've got, we've pulled our dinghy up earlier this morning so that we're not uh, dragging it along with us. And this is our manual windlass. This is how we get up the, this is how Herbie gets up the anchor. It's my morning workout. <laughs> Hi from Venezuela, Marco. Welcome. Glad you're with us. Buena. <laughs> now, guys, uh, there are going to be a lot of moments of kind of just silence along this ride, so I'm really hoping that you'll ask any questions that you have, and we'll be able to have kind of a conversation. And uh, I know, Jerry, it's exciting. <laughs> and, uh, we <laughs> yes, Jerry, my gosh, in the morning, they're very hyper. Just the morning? <laughs> yeah, all she wants to do is chew on my butt. Anchor's coming up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is run and get behind the helm. So this is kind of our routine. Herbie gets up the anchor and then I am ready at the helm for when he says it's up and I start us going. Hi, Charlie. Yeah, we're going. Anchor's up. 
anchors up. We have a 65 pound mantis anchor. Okay. Um, ah, awesome. You've already started with your questions. I'm going to try really hard to get to those <laughs> in one second after I get us out of this anchorage. New Orleans, Terrence, welcome. Glad to have you with us. Hopefully the iPad won't fall down. Jerry, if you could not break my shirt, that would be awesome. I'm gonna call the bridge. What time is it? 9.05, all right. So with every bridge, you have to call and let them know you're ready for your their opening. The radio and, uh, is on nine, channel nine. Yeah, the, the different area, like different states and different areas, different channel. But Navionics always tells you what channel to call on. But if you're calling on the wrong one, someone will usually correct you. <laughs> Lantana Bridge, Lantana Bridge, Lantana Bridge. This is Sailing Vessel Wisdom hitting northbound, requesting your next opening. Bridge, Lantana Bridge. This is Wisdom. Do you copy? Lantana Bridge, I think you got stepped on by another vessel. Come back. Not a problem. Uh, this is Wisdom. We're heading northbound and uh, just requ requesting your next opening. Copy that. We're going to have a 9.30 opening, approximately 25 minutes. Sounds good. We'll be ready. All right, if you want to keep us kind of on this yeah. course, I'm going to start answering questions. Uh, sounds good. Uh, also, I'm going to get Jerry off of my shirt. Can I have my sunglasses? I don't know where they are. Well, that's not very helpful. No, it's not. It's the truth. Okay. Well, Jerry's got some sunglasses for you. Are they mine? Oh, my. Wow. Jeez. Yay, Jerry. <laughs> okay. So we've requested our opening for Lantana Bridge. Uh, there's the bridge right there. And as you can see, it's really low and our uh, mast is 55 feet high approximately. So we have to wait for every bridge opening. Now I'm gonna look through your questions here. Is your parrot episode coming soon? Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, I've always wanted to sail with one, but clean it, clearing in and out issues seem complicated. Yeah. They are complicated. They're we'll be talking about that extensively on our <laughs> parrot episode that will be live and coming in the future. <laughs> are y'all going to have plenty of battery power? That is the hope. Uh, we did run the generator this morning. Yeah, so the batteries started at 87%, so not full charge. But that's because we're actually cruising, and this isn't a uh, pen and paper test. So stuff isn't full charge when you start it. Come here, Jerry. Here's Come some here. paper for her to chew on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what keeps the birds from flying away? Love. <laughs> Love and also clipped wings. Uh, I've seen what I think is a type of harness. Yes, we usually have harnesses on them. With the ICW, we don't worry too much. And we kind of did a trial run yesterday and not with neither of their harnesses on and it was totally fine. So we decided to go harness free today. If possible, windsock cat, nothing 
thing for microphone would be nice. Oh, oh it's I an know. IPad. It, this Sorry. is an iPad that we're on, and the wind noise is going to be really annoying. I Except apologize for that. There's not much wind but, today, yeah. which is why we're doing the test today. Because if there's like a whole bunch of wind pushing us, that's cheating. <laughs> that's not really an electric range test. Uh. Yeah, we need bird toys. We have plenty of bird toys. She just prefers me. <laughs> uh, Mike and Janice Childers here. Hello, Janice oh, and Mike. Hi. We'll be seeing them later. We'll be seeing you later tomorrow. We're really excited about that. Uh, so for um, ooh, I'm in the sun. Yeah, we're gonna be turning in like. Eh. 10 minutes. Okay. It's funny because I, I can't see the screen at all because of the glare. This is, oh no, it's because my thumb was over. It isn't that fun. <laughs> Could you just look inside to see if my sunglasses are right in there? And we're kind of just sitting. Yeah, there they are. So we may lose a uh, signal a few times. We've got pretty good signal out here. We have one bar of 4G. Right now we only have one bar. So, uh, yeah, the wind noise shouldn't be oh, too bars, much of a bars. problem because no wind. Uh, there isn't a lot of wind. And the ICW, that's the great thing about it. It's super protected. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, so we... Uh... Oh, good question, Warren. Oh. He's asked, what are the current conditions for this passage? The wind uh, situation and everything. Well, so right now okay. it's a beautiful sunny day. I didn't look at any weather forecast website, but the clouds say ah. that it's going to stay the same, which is calm. So calm. <laughs> but I could probably. It's really calm. Look I'd say there it. are like four knots of wind right now. Yeah. Um, we're going to be averaging about three to four knots. Well, yeah, when we motor, we do like three to four but then you sit at a bridge waiting. So our average speed in the ICW so far has been 2.2, but it's, we go quickly and then we wait, like right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you run your batteries up to 80 with the Jenny uh, or from 80? And how long was it running this morning? Good uh, question. Yes, yeah, so we ran the generator for an hour this morning because they were at 74%. And now they're at 89 or 87 percent, 87, I think. I now need to look and check because I can't remember. All right. This is happening. Checking. Just wanted to let you know that this was happening. <sighs> Ever feel like your children walk all over you? Okay. It's, it's loading the motor bank, the, the batteries. Unable to connect. <laughs> Charlie, you're blocking the signal. Okay. The motor batteries are currently almost there. We're at 87%. So we, yeah, we're 38 amps lower than full. And the generator was running for about for an, hour. an hour this morning. And, and we're at 74% this morning, so it put in a good bit of charge there. Our generator is a Honda 2000. Uh, right now it's sitting behind Herbie in a hush box. She can't really see it. Where did you get that beautiful bird, Denny asks. Ah, <laughs> Well, uh, this one, it's Jerry, is from Florida. I got her about uh, two weeks ago and she is already ah. part of the family. <laughs> yes, Jerry. Charlie is from South America. <laughs> and we got her about six months ago so she'll be coming into the videos once we have crossed the Atlantic completed our crossing uh, is the solar giving a slight charge while oh, you are motoring absolutely yes. yeah so we have a kilowatt right now of solar panels but it's also 9 a.m. so we usually start making a lot of power at about 11 Good but when, when it's making power, we get like about 16 amps from this. So when we're motoring, okay. So I know everyone likes to talk in watts, but when you have an electric motor, 
You talk in amps because <laughs> you have, you know, we have now a 300 amp battery bank because I stole our house batteries to make motor bank. Jerry? Okay. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah, so we motor along at like 30 to 40 amps. The generator puts out 25 amps and the panels give us about 16 amps. So between the two, we can actually be motoring at 30 amps and still charging the batteries, which is awesome. Jerry, where do you want to go? Uh, Warren asked another good question. What about the tidal currents? Oh, uh, yes. He said tidal, but I'm <laughs> thinking he meant tidal. Yeah, they are <laughs> impressive. So we're now able to go against them, which is something we weren't able to do last time we did the ICW. So, I mean, naturally, we don't fight them when they're going like five, six knots because that's ridiculous. But uh, like when we came up here, we passed the Boynton Inlet and we kept on going against the current anyway. And it was, we were okay. It's, it's manageable now. Uh, good morning from Rhode Island. Glad you're watching it work. Awesome. <laughs> we were thinking since it is nine um, on a weekday, some people would have this on just kind of in the background during their work. And uh, that's just great. We're so glad to have you here. Let me look at what tide we're on now, because I didn't look. So that's the nice thing with the ICW. There is no weather. It's all calm. How fast can you go in order to just use what comes in from the solar? That's a good question too. From Werner. Werner or Werner? Werner. Remember we met a Werner? Mm-hmm. Uh, with the solar panels alone, we can motor at about like two, two knots now. So not not too fast, but that's so much better than we could so before. So much better before. <laughs> yeah. So okay, here's the tidal schedule at West Palm Beach where we're going. High tide is going to be at eleven o'clock. So we're Thank actually going against the current right now because the uh, it's a flood tide still. So that's uh, a thing I didn't really look at too much because it's it's just so calm in here, and even with the current against you. Like in these areas, you're so far from the inlet, you're kind of like in the middle. So when the tide's coming in or out, you're kind of just in the middle that just goes up and down. You don't really get yanked. So, and then as we get going up towards uh, West Palm, the tide will be going out, or at least, you know, slack water. So it'll just be, it's okay. Hi, Charlie. Uh Hi from Philly. All right, Eagles fan over here. Um, oh, other huge thing. So down here in Florida, the tide's like two to three feet. So it's not horrible. When we get into like Georgia and the Carolinas where it's like eight, 10 foot tides, then we really pay attention what is because happening? you just can't fight those. Jerry is on your head. You <laughs> spin the camera around, it's funny. I forgot the bull in the fenders too. Fenders are up. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Um, this is not normal. Jerry just has an obscene amount of energy right now. You should not have her so close to the edge, though. Yeah, okay. I'm like, I would love to. Pudding. Jerry, come here. You're messing up my hair. <laughs> it's funny because I didn't do my hair. Go on up there, Jerry. Uh -huh. Yeah, Jerry. Go right there. Um, okay, more questions. Philippines, wow. Awesome to have you here with us. The time difference must be pretty crazy there. And Greece? Cool. Oh wait, Green Cove Springs. Just kidding, not Greece. <laughs> Green Cove Springs, Florida. Hey Tom, we'll be seeing you soon, I think. If you're the same Tom from Green Cove Springs. So right now, we got 10 minutes to the bridge open, so I just turned the motor off and we'll just drift. Any it? plans yeah. to cruise the ICW in Louisiana and Texas? Does the ICW go through Louisiana and Texas? Uh, I don't know if it's the same ICW, but there is a waterway. Okay. Um, yeah. Actually, no. We don't have plans to go there, Paul. Uh, but it sounds really amazing. I, Louisiana is on my bucket list. Yeah, we could go on Windpuff. Yeah. That's like, it's part of the Great Loop. Ooh, we just went into and... like a windy spot. Oh. Maybe Darn. you could turn the... <laughs> Good morning, guys. Had to watch the Blue Origin live launch first. Yeah. What is the amp watt solar bad. feed at 9 in the morning? Okay. That is a good question. From ATX Sailor. Welcome. Oh. Hi, Archie. 
Okay, let me see what nine in the morning, right now. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. Right now, it's still connecting. Okay, we are getting 300 watts out of a kilowatt. So, not great, but it's nine in the morning. Hola, yeah. Um, this guy. Why two outboard engines? Oh, yeah. That's this guy. Wow. I guess it's Bill's past due. <laughs> All right, so the two outboards. Here's the wake. All right, so the Honda is dead. It needs a new carburetor and a new starter, which are not expensive parts, but we can't find them in the countries we've been in. So then we fix the Honda by buying a Suzuki, which <laughs> does run. But as soon as we get those parts, it's like 80 some dollars in parts for the Honda, and then it'll work again. And then we will have two outboards. Right now we have an outboard and wait, but. Hello from Canada, yes. eh? <laughs> Love you have Dyneema rigging, something I've been wanting to change for some time. What are your plans for winter 2022? Uh, we're in 2021 now. Oh, hope oh, the Chesapeake. Yeah. We'll be in so the Chesapeake. So in the winter of 2022, we'll be in the Chesapeake. What if you flip the iPad over and then the microphone's not on the windward side? Does that side? work? I don't know. That's just the thought. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, and we'll be... We'll be working on our uh, other boat, Wind Puff, which is a 30-foot Alberg, and we will be... Made in Canada. Made in Canada. We'll be in the process sure of that. actually converting ah. Wind Puff to uh, synthetic Just and electric. Put it over it. See if that... Well, the problem matter. is the uh, it, it goes right over the... Um, yeah, the microphone. No, the camera. Um, <laughs> well, can you... It's all right. We just don't know how bad the wind noise is because we're not listening. Hey, be nice. Hi, Charlie. What is the maximum output of your solar at 48 volts? The most that we, in amps, the most that we've gotten has been 18 amps, like peak. But uh, otherwise, like normally during the day, I'll see it somewhere between 10 and 16 from <laughs> from Here, 10 a.m. Hold that. Thanks. It's facing you. Okay, so between 10 a.m. and like 2 to 3 p.m. Oh. right here. It's putting out between 10 and 16 amps, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, that's that's our output. But I have seen it hit 18 and I got very excited, but that was like just for a moment in like peak perfect sun. Eddie's cleaning the pool. Are the birds? <laughs> Two birds. Wait, how do I get? Ah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Senator Perry, and also thank you for letting us know that the wind noise isn't too bad. <laughs> we. Ah. So we feel really bad because like, audio is so important, and. Like, we go through such lengths to make good audio in videos, and then we do a live video, or we do now, yeah. We've looked, we've been watching our old videos for fun, and oh, we've gotten so much better at editing and filming and not making horrible audio. Jerry wanted to be up there. Jerry's now up there. Charlie's down there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Soon. Here's, here's iPad. Are you going to maintain two boats or sell wisdom? Oh, oh we are not selling wisdom oh. ever. <laughs> we will be maintaining two boats. All the boats. <laughs> We're a little crazy, uh, which well, you know if well, you've okay. been watching our channel. So I've lived on wisdom for now nine years. I, oh, I could never sell wisdom. And then, so I actually wanted to live on an Auburn 30. Hey Greg, welcome! So when we bought that Auburn, and then went cruising, 
my dad was like, oh, you should just sell the Allberg since you're not going to be using it. And I was like, no. And <laughs> yeah, now I've actually paid more in storage fees than I bought the boat for. But that's... Would selling yeah. wisdom be wise? Ha 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 ha. That would not be wise. It would not be wise. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but like, no, <laughs> no. Um, do you need health papers for the birds? Yes. Oh yeah. It's vet visits and all sorts of stuff. Yes. It, it, but, SH said the audio went off. Is the audio okay guys? Oh, it's back on. Okay. okay. Thanks SH. So as far as health papers in the U S it's freedom. You're going state to state, so you don't have to worry about anything. Like it's like literally driving with your birds across the state line. You just hop in a car and go. It does depend on the birds. Luckily, we have birds that are accepted in all states. Charlie. Charlie's gonna try to eat books now. Yep, she likes to eat books. Um, <clears throat> will you be releasing a battery upgrade video? Oh yes, when we when upgrade we the upgrade the batteries. <laughs> We yes. will be very excited to so, release an, a battery upgrade video. So the only battery upgrade we've done has been reusing our current old batteries. So we had eight batteries for the motor bank set up in series, like two banks of eight batteries in series. And then we had four more batteries for the house bank. And I thought, uh, you know, let's just make it 12 batteries in series for the motor. And that's what I did. So now we're running all the house loads off of the motor and every, it's working. So then when we do the lithium, we're gonna set it up the same way, where the lithium bank runs the motor, the boat, like everything. But we haven't done that yet. So literally all I did is switch from parallel to series wiring. Uh, Christopher Hutchins asks, what are you going to do with the Allberg? And ah, we're really excited about yes. this. So we're gonna be converting the Allberg to everything we've learned you need to go cruising. Uh, and the key word there is need, not want. So we're going to be converting to an electric motor and a... Uh, I like how it's not something you ever want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and synthetic rigging. And then we're also going to be uh, doing a composting toilet and uh, adding in some plumbing for the galley, which there is currently none. Yeah, it doesn't have plumbing or wiring. So it pretty much it's the equivalent of an abandoned boat. So we're going to be... It is. It's yeah. basically an abandoned boat. So we're oh, going to be revamping yeah. the whole thing. We're going to be giving it a whole new paint job. It's going to be really exciting colors. It's going to be a restoration. Yeah. yeah, big restoration. Hard dodger. Yep. Built-in solar panels. And something that some people may wince at, but we're going to be changing it to a cutter. Yeah, we're going to fix the rig. We're going to add a bowsprit yeah. for Herbie. And also, like, it's deck-stepped but it doesn't have a tabernacle. So you get all, like the advantage of deck step is you can just drop your mast at ease. If you have a tabernacle, which it doesn't have, so you, it's not easy. So we're gonna fix that part. Many fixing. <laughs> uh, so thanks for that question, Christopher. Oh, also we're gonna turn into a cutter because, uh, yeah. I did say that, didn't you I? You said I had a bowsprit. Yeah. But not the cutter. Oh, I did. Oh, my bad. Uh, Chesapeake bound. Yeah, Greg, that's us. Yeah, we have a uh, thousand miles to go. <laughs> What's your opinion on an island packet thirty-five? Yes. For serious offshore sailing, serious off offshore okay. sailing. Our opinion is yes. So island packets are like super built. Uh, my personal favorite is the thirty-eight, not the eighty, but the thirty-eight. And I looked at the 35, it was just a little smaller. And since I was going to be, you know, full-time live aboard and all that, I wanted a little extra room. But the 30, like all of them, they're just tanks. Greg, thanks for the uh, moolah. That means a lot. Um, 12 batteries in series, question mark? Oh, okay. So <laughs> they are three parallel strings that are four batteries in series. So each 12 volt battery, you put four of them and you have 48 volts. There is wind. Yeah, there's a lot of wind. In the right direction though. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you put four batteries in series, gives you 48 volts, and then you put three of those parallel to each other. And there you have 300 amps at 48 volts. I just didn't want to go into all the details and bore everyone. So I just- yeah. Sailing vessel, wind, 
Wisdom. Wisdom, uh, come on up here to the bridge. We're opening it up. All right, I'll be right over. All right, here we go. Whee. You're going to see our first. I'm going to take you guys to the bow to witness the bridge. And then we'll continue with your questions. So, sorry about the shakiness. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> my bookmark. Oh. oh, I lost my place. Just put the books inside. inside yeah. Again. No, no! Oh, freaking! <laughs> Welcome to having the cause. Frickin' Morty, can't just get your hat? Yeah. Oh. No, just your hat. <laughs> Here, play with your actual toy. Okay. That was fun. <laughs> oh, I guess we're not gonna be filming today. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, on the deck, the wind noise is going to be a bit worse, so sorry about that. Um, but I want you to be up here to witness the bridge opening, because this is quintessential ICW right here. Now we're in a big kind of lake, Lake Worth, so usually the ICW is really narrow, and it's going to get narrower as we go further north. Uh, Phil Henderson, yes, we're going to be doing cruising with the Alberg. We plan on going up to Nova Scotia with her and also down to areas where we haven't been able to get in Wisdom just because her keel is too deep, like the Abacos and the Bahamas and also the Florida Keys. We may even go to Bermuda with her. We'll see. How do you change a sloop to the to a cutter, Wilhelm? Helm uh, Herbie could probably answer this better, but since he's back at the helm, I'm going to try. What we're going to do is add, so a cutter uh, just has two head sails instead of one. And so we're going to be adding a uh, bow sprit so that we can bring our jib further forward and then add a second head sail, a, a staysail. Um, as well. And that way the uh, mast will be more centered in the rig, if that makes sense. I'm not a rigger, but that is my understanding. <laughs> uh, you, We are going to be living aboard Wisdom while we refit the Allberg 30. There it goes. So we've upped our speed to get through the bridge. We're currently going about four knots. Maybe even five. <laughs>
And now it is customary to radio the bridge and tell them we're all clear so they can lower it down. Back to the cockpit. Is it looking this way? Looking at you. Oh, okay. So that was 5.8 <laughs> knots. Oh, 5.8. Going uh, over ground. And we had uh, 340 amps. So a crap ton of power. And now 25 amps. <laughs> and we're going 3.8. Or we're coming down. Actually, 3.7, 3.8, 3.9. It's oscillating in there. So, uh, yeah. Hold that for a sec. And get situated. Hi guys. So yeah, that's the uh, speeds of an electric motor. Like we could go that speed, just not for very long. Because <laughs> yeah, actually we could do 350 amps for less than an hour because we have 300 amps available. Uh, there you go. Okay. So I believe it was Will Hemke asked, how do you convert a sloop to a cutter? And I did oh. my best to answer, but I'm interested to hear how well okay. I did. So you, you say so, it. So you have two ways of doing it. And one is you move the mast aft and create a bigger four triangle. But that's, that's some serious naval architecture right there. The easier way is you add a bow spray. Yes, that's what I said. And then, then the head sail becomes bigger, like the, the foot of the head sail becomes bigger, and the area, the position of the mast fore aft, including the bowsprit, is then going to be uh, at the 40% mark. Now, the big caveat though is when you do all these changes, you change the center of effort of the sails, but you do not change the center of lateral resistance of the keel. Yeah, so, I totally said all that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so good. good. No, I didn't. So I mean, if, I, yes, I did. So if the boat has a lot of weather helm, it means that you have a discrepancy there. And moving the sails forward will actually help reduce the weather helm. So being how the Auberg has a lot of weather helm, it's a candidate, which is why I feel that it really needs it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like if your boat balances perfectly, doing that would just destroy your boat. It would make it sail like a pig and just be horrible. Like you'd never go upwind. But yeah, and oh then the gosh. other huge part is simply if you are at the point where it's like a little bit of weather helm, but not too much, and you put the head sail out and it's just too much lee helm and you can't do it, it's easy. Just don't put that out in those winds. And when you're going downwind, you have a great bowsprit. KPT yes. Bill Burkett, Burkett yeah. is, it's 3.32 a.m. <laughs> Wow. He's in Hawaii. That is some dedication. We are really happy you're here with us. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You're going to, if you stick around till we drop anchor, you're going to see the sun come up. Uh, Will's asking how we fly back to Maryland with the birds. The answer is we don't. We're going to be driving. Renting a car. But also we're going to be flying with the birds eventually in October. To somewhere very special. For somewhere, something really awesome that we'll talk about a little later. Yeah. And uh, so we're going to be getting, working on getting them pet passports and everything. It's a really long and annoying process. Hi from Sweden. Hi, Lars. Uh, Lars has a question. Yes. Turbinac Turbinacle. Tabernacle. Tabernacle. <laughs> and easy mass dropping. Have you planned to do one or more uh, of the so-called inland circles? No-ish, but a little. So uh, going up New York into the Hudson River, you're gonna, it's, you need the mast down. And uh, I thought about it a little bit, but also the really big reason is there's this really nice place in the Chesapeake where the Auburg's mast is literally one foot too tall. And if we can just go under that bridge, we can then sail this pretty river, but we can't. So with this, we could. So yeah, it's just, just in general. And then also ICW, you get to a place, like we spent weeks one time in this boat waiting for a bridge that was under repair. Actually, it's fixed. the next bridge we're coming to. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and we, no, it's the one after. Oh, okay. Yeah, but we spent weeks waiting for that bridge to be repaired. But if we could just drop the stick and go under it, we would have. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the big thing. It's like ICW, bunch of low bridges. Just put it down and 
Tilo's here with us. Hi, oh, Tilo. Hi, Tilo. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Hugh. Uh, yes, SH, Herbie is a dentist. You understand correctly. Yeah. Greg yeah. is coming down to Lauderdale. Oh, cool. We'll be on his way. On the 1st, which is when we are going driving uh, up to Baltimore. <laughs> yes. Hi, Jerry. Uh, you know, you could put that fancy sculling oil or on the Allberg 30. It has one. Funny you should say that, Christopher, because uh, it has one and we have used it. Yeah, so it the Allberg has no motor, and the way we've used it in the past was we'd scull out of the marina and then sail and then scull back in. So it worked <laughs> well, and then we thought, hey, we'll build one for this boat as well, and it didn't. Four tons to 18 tons is not scalable. <laughs> How much power would you leave to ensure enough to motor into the marina slash slip? Um, a, a battery? Just like, yeah, in like general. like 20%. Yeah, 20% is a good amount to have. Well, all right, so less than 20%, what happens when you're like coming at a pier and going to crash into it and you're like, oh crap, and you do full reverse, you get voltage sag and the motor doesn't do much. It kind of like goes like, rawr, 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 and you just keep going forward into that pier. <laughs> so I like to be above 20% because less than that, it's bad. Wow, Glen Hale's in Hawaii as well. Awesome. Also on my bucket list. Is the output output from your electric generation system in addition to what you consume, or is it the daily consumption taken out of what is generated? Depends on motoring. So with the boat's normal load, uh, we consume 3% overnight. And then in a few hours, it's like full charge again. Like it never happened. But when we motor, it just sucks it away. Because, I mean, well, when we went through that bridge, we were chugging 350 amps for like, I don't know, six, seven minutes. So it, it uses it. So like yesterday, we motored for six hours. And when we got here, the sun was going down and we we're at 77%. And then overnight, we went down to 74 and that was it. Like, we didn't recharge. Had we sat there the day, we would have recharged with the sun, which is a nice thing. Which, actually, when we get to West Palm, we don't need to run the generator because the solar panels, will, they do their thing. When are you coming to Long Island Sound? <laughs> oh, by the way, we are motoring 24 amps, 1.05 kilowatts, and we're doing 3.2 knots. <laughs> we used to go less than a knot. I don't think we're headed to the Long Island Sound, are we? Uh, not on our trip not up on, to Maine. Yeah, not on this yeah. trip, but we are going to be going up uh, to Maine and Nova Scotia in the future. Either in Wisdom or in Windpuff the Alberg, not sure yet. <laughs> Probably Windpuff because we want to go inside on the way back. Yeah. When are you adding more crew, like many other channels? Hmm, Greg. Well, that, they'll be <laughs> around when we go to Maine. Let's just put uh, it that yeah, way. we are going to have more crew when we go to Maine and oh, oh, wait, wait, no, Canada. No. We're going to have more crew in like a month. But, exactly. When we bring Morty. We're going to have yeah. more crew in a month. Not that kind of crew, but we're going up to Maryland by car, like we mentioned, and we're going to bring come back with our dog, Morty, oh, who we oh. have missed over the past by three the way, and a half years. We need to show them this really cool boat mod that we did. Can mm -hmm. they see this? Yeah, oh, they can oh, also okay. hear you interrupting me. Sorry, but, 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 but this thing, just a bunch of wood, and then I can sit up high and see over the bow and see forward. It's brilliant. And I can steer. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth the interruption. <laughs> yes. More crew. Sorry, babe. Uh, hi from Vancouver, Canada. Awesome. Welcome. A. Eh? <laughs> the reason I ask, uh, SH says, the reason I ask is my wife is a physician and we are going to go live aboard in about four years. Awesome. 
She wonders if you get asked to do medical stuff or do you have, uh, do you go on the DL? We go on the DL. No, um, I don't go on the DL. Well, he, yes. Medical stuff? He does sometimes get asked to do dentistry, yeah, dental but stuff, but he can't do it because he's only licensed in Maryland. Um, uh. And also because he doesn't want to. <laughs> Well, so the big <laughs> issue is sterilization. Like, I can't properly sterilize equipment on this boat, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> like, that, that, that would be so bad to not, st yeah. So that, that's why I don't, but if you can, like, if you have the power to, like, properly sterilize stuff on your boat, yeah. Now, I have thought about, we've been in some third world countries and, like, going to work as a dentist for them, like, there, but when I've asked those countries, the local <laughs> dentists are incredibly insulted that I asked. So that ended that. Um, welcome, Patrick. <laughs> so glad you made it early in the morning. Jerry's trying to speak. Jerry is working on her vocal cord or vocal syrinx. Syrinx. <laughs> yes, Jerry. <laughs> Thanks, Dilo. We'll keep that in mind. <laughs> what was up? Uh, he says there's a great anchorage right outside his home. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> if the birds grab on and spread their wings, do you gain speed? Two knots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, we have a boat family on MDI in Maine. We'd love to all meet up. Absolutely will. Definitely. Hi from Australia. Bunyip. Dan, have you been able to get regen from your electric setup? Yes. Yes, we have. Mostly in the ocean when we're actually going the speeds for regen. Yeah. But it's been really great, especially when we were crossing the Atlantic or doing all those kind of over 1,000 mile passages. We created, a, we use the power we create to run the fridge mostly because uh, we don't actually motor when we're on those long passages. But it's been fantastic because then when you do get to an anchorage or a uh, marina or the next port, then you have saved up all that power that you've created and it's been fantastic we start uh, regening at three knots but not anymore oh not anymore yeah it has to be five or more mm. well now it's about five or more but it used to be that we started at three and then we started making good power <laughs> at five or more yeah west coast of scotland may awesome I, may i add something about the regen yeah go ahead okay. so with the regen the uh like you'll be making like four to six amps and it seems awesome, but that's in an hour. So if you regen for like 10 minutes, you made one sixth of that. So it's not really worth it. But when you're out for, you know, the day and you got like 10 good hours of cranking out power, you're making like 40 to 60 amps or 80 to 120 amps in a 20 hour period. And if you want to do the math, 24, it's, you make really good numbers out at sea because you're doing it consistently. But when you're like short tacking and stuff in a river, you never really, it doesn't amount to much. Kirby, what do you call your seat? Oh, Karen. <laughs> he suggested a seat. <laughs> Karen? You're sitting on Karen? Sitting on Karen. <laughs> Karen is sturdy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. Uh, Alan Onderdonk is with us. Awesome. Hi, Alan. Alan's been following us from the very beginning when we were making really <laughs> crappy videos. So that's awesome that you're here with us. What is that? What? I don't know. I think it's... A, is it ahead of us? It's ahead of us, but I don't know if it's a buoy or Do -do -do. some Florida man on a buoy. Oh, it's, it's someone on a buoy. Okay, okay. It's somebody working on a buoy? I, I don't know. They could be fishing. Hi, Charlie. We've seen some stuff. Got some itchies. They got orange vests on, so I'm gonna say they're working on it. Okay. <laughs> yes, Charlie. Oh, okay, yeah, they're natural resources. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, what is that fishing contraption? 
we've recently come across a fishing thing that's like a balloon that they tow behind the boat that's about mast height. <laughs> we got a question asking what the ICW is. Intracoastal waterway. And I really think we should take a moment to talk about what the ICW is because we have a lot of international people with us and like Herbie just said, it is the Intercoastal Waterway. Actually, it's, that's a good view of it. It's kind of a, yeah, this is what it looks like um, at its widest or wider areas. Usually it's much more narrow, kind of like a street. <laughs> yeah. Um, so along the most of the east coast of the U.S., there is kind of this inland ditch that was dug out. It's totally man-made uh, and it's got... Um, kind of areas where you can enter from inlets. It, yeah inlets <laughs> from the ocean so if you wanted to you could kind of go outside for good weather and then come into the ICW for bad weather um, it's just a very protected kind of nautical roadway for mostly motorboats it's really difficult to actually sail through it because it is so narrow usually and uh, it's just this really beautiful causeway with tons of amazing architecture uh, along the way and just really neat stops uh, in various towns. I think our favorite stops when we were coming down the ICW were Charleston, Oriental, uh, Oriental North Carolina. We loved Surf City. Um, so there's just like really great gems along the way and we're going to be seeing a lot more this time around. Oh, Fernandina was another good one. Yes, yes. The downside to the ICW is that it takes a very long time and you pretty much have to motor. So that's why we've kind of given ourselves Dang. this uh, task or uh, challenge of being the first electric yacht to motor the entire ICW because when we were coming down we actually went outside for a lot of it. So here are the guys working on the... Yeah, they're Coast Guard. Ooh, they're, uh, they're fixing the day marker. Very cool. Yeah. All right, morning. The other downside is that in places especially like Georgia where we went outside the first time, uh, we're going to be going inside this time and it's very windy whirly twisty twirly and that means that it takes a really long time to just get it one mile north because you're going like zigzagging so you have to have a lot of time on your hands <laughs> especially if you want to really take the time to enjoy where you are and the scenery and everything but it's it's gorgeous and we're really excited to do it we're still kind of in the beginning down here. Can Charlie chew through a sheet? Yes. <laughs> yes. So fast. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I think you mean a sheet line, right? Oh, that's that was where my mind was. Uh, <laughs> a sail sheet. Like, yeah. yes. like, but she, she doesn't. Yeah, thank we don't goodness. let her. Okay, I got more questions while I was taking my sweet time explaining the ICW. Hi from London. Okay, wait, I gotta go up. Mitch, am yeah. I, are, is it looking at you? It's looking at me. And Charlie. Right. Greetings ah. from Poland. How are you? Very cool. I have Polish ancestry. Um, how much battery capacity are you at now? Excellent question. And what was it when we started? It was... That's from Fuller 9. And so it is now... It was 87. And we have an app that tells us what it is now. And the app says... It's loading. 79. 79. But I burned so much power getting through that bridge. Yeah, so we could run at this speed of... 2 knots for the next eight and a half hours. Hopefully it won't take us eight and a half hours <laughs> to get to. That'll be a long live video. <laughs> the longest. By the way, I'd like to say that we have 179 people with us right now. Cool. Which is really awesome. We did not expect this many people to be able to join us on a weekday morning. Uh, hit that like button if you're enjoying what you're seeing. And uh, 
thanks to those who already have. I want to radio this bridge. Steve the seat. I like that a lot better than Karen. Steve the seat, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Or Pete the Seat, that's even better. <laughs> Lake Avenue Bridge, Lake Avenue Bridge. This is northbound sailing vessel Wisdom. Greg is mentioning that he's now happy we'll be at the boat the show. Sailing Wisdom. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. I'm still about a mile away from you, but uh, I'm just requesting your next opening. Yes, sir. We open on demand, and as you approach after we get maintenance clearance, we'll begin the opening process. Sounds good. I'll let you know when I'm pretty close. Or actually, you'll see me there. Yeah. You'll hear the uh, announcements in advance of that. Lake Avenue Bridge standing by 09. So some of the bridges open on demand and some open on the hour and a half. So what we do is we mess, we call them on the radio when we're about a mile away just to find out what the schedule is. And some of them are have maintenance going on, so it may not be what's listed on Navionics. Yeah. And Greg, Greg said uh, that he's happy to hear we'll be at the boat show, which is awesome. Yes, we will be planning on being at the fall boat show, not the spring one. But we're really excited about that. Oh, is the spring one happening? The spring one is happening. And when is it? It is not when we will be there. Yeah, but when is it? I don't know. I can't remember. Greg? <laughs> you know when the spring boat show is? <laughs> Uh, Alan says, if you buy the batteries, I am talking about VS Battleborn. It will save you eleven thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have big plans for the batteries. We're gonna be building our own lithium bank. Yes, we're gonna mine it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Can't Connor says board. hello from Boca. Oh, we were just there. Um, we were just in Boca. Any reason you are in the ditch versus sailing up to the Lake Worth Inlet? Yes. Um, the reason is thus. <laughs> we are trying to do this challenge to be the first boat to do the entire intercoastal waterway um, with electric. With electric. Yeah. So that's why we're not going outside. Yeah, because it's very tempting. It is so tempting to go outside. <laughs> yeah, we cover like close to 200 <laughs> miles a day. Or inside we do like 10. But you get to sleep at anchor. Nice yeah, and, and easy. sleeping it, it's at anchor its, is nice. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're really like excited about this challenge. And also, it's just kind of slow moseying. We don't have to worry about getting sails up and everything. We can kind of, as you can see, the birds are like really crazy right now. <laughs> so it's just it, it feels a lot safer to have them on board inside the intercoastal. And when we get back with our dog um, at the end of May, we'll be taking him for walks every day on shore. And so it's just going to be a lot more um, convenient to yeah. be in the ICW where you can just awesome. cool off and anchor wherever you need to. Also, we've done like thousands of ocean miles. <laughs> this is something different for us. Like, yeah. We've, we've really enjoyed when we go to countries and like go up their rivers. They're like, this is so cool. So like for us, this is like a thousand mile long river to enjoy. It's, it's neat. Hi, Charlie. Uh, Rich, Rich Suggs. Hey guys, I live in Northport, Florida. My dentist has a ministry where he goes to Rotan, Honduras. Yeah. And performs dentistry. Very professional operation. Could hook you up. Herbie's actually done dentistry in Honduras, Honduras. before, and I've yeah. done um, medical uh, retreats in Honduras as well. It's a great place to do that kind of thing. I know he'll be doing it again in the future. Yes, I pulled 450 uh. teeth in three days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Sarah. Happy anniversary. 29 years. That's amazing. Goals. Hey, we're on five? We're about to hit five. Yeah. So we got a lot of catching up to do. Congratulations. SH says you like to read a lot. Have you read An Embarrassment of Mangoes? 
that got my wife really into the concept of the liveaboard uh, from retirement thing. No, I haven't read that, and I will have to because I'm always looking for new books to oh, read. Oh, she's into the hardware screws, and also your Sudoku is right next to her. Oh. Ah. Wait, wait, Charlie, don't you like the toy we got you? She wants that nut. Don't let her have the nut. That's like swallow. Oh, oh, she's got the nut. Yeah. All right, let me get the nut out of her. Charlie, give me, give me the nut. Give it. Okay. Charlie. Eat your toys, not the nuts. <laughs> Where is that, um... They're the best paper shredders. Yep. <laughs> All right, I know there are more questions. Guys, I am loving these questions. I'm so glad that you're asking them because the ICW, while riveting, uh, <laughs> is slow going. And this is really the main reason we wanted to have this uh, time with you guys is to both take you up the ICW with us, but also answer all of your awesome questions. Also. A lot of people sail the ICW like this is, it's a thousand miles and you can really see the east coast of the US this way. And it's really protected so it's like safe to do and, and all that. But I've heard so many people ask questions about what's it really like and like all that. So we figured this is a day in it. And then you can see that it's really easy and fun and just mostly easy. It's really easy. Yes, I know. Okay. Uh, can Charlie chew? Oh, we already answered that. Georgia was the worst part of the ICW in my trip down here in Florida. This is Tom. Uh, looking forward to being outside when I head north. Yeah, Georgia is really... We skipped Georgia on purpose yeah, last time. But we really want to see Savannah. And there are some islands in Georgia in the ICW where you can see wild horses. And also for the oh. challenge, you have to do the whole thing. Thanks, Charlie. So. I think you want that back. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> Charlie. Oh, these guys are constant entertainment. Need something to do during the shutdown. Guy, thanks for being a member. And also, I love your koala. Ooh, SV Just Smile and Wave is considering repowering to all electric on their Morgan. May I ask what year your Morgan is? The Lake Avenue Bridge is preparing to open. Oh, we're going through another bridge. Vessels, please remain outside the fenders until the bridge is fully raised. Are we close enough? I'm going to... Done it? it? Yeah. You might want to start. Yeah, now. we're going. So here we're you're going to be able to hear the sound of the motor when it is being gunned. Now, the, the important thing to remember, I have a hose that drains our fridge sitting on top of it and it rattles. <laughs> so the motor's quiet. Uh, the rest of us isn't. Now we're three tenths of a mile, so I'm giving it more juice. Yes, that giant lump right there. That's our head sail. That's our head sail that we haven't put away yet. We don't really have space. But we're trying to find space to put it away. We just figured we're not going to be using our uh, giant jib in the ICW, and we'd like to save it from any kind of sun damage. But also, it's right in the way of the anchor, which we use every day now. So we're in the process of finding where to put that, and Jerry is talking up a storm. Hi, Jerry. Hello. Sorry about the wind noise, guys. We got a big wake coming. There's a big wake coming. Well, unless you 
Oh, geez. This is my least favorite part of the ICW. The power boats that go right next to you with a giant wake. Got this whole area. Oh, he's slowing down. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Yeah, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, it is a really pretty boat. Charlie. Ah, SB just smile and wave is in Jacksonville. Oh, cool. We may be able to see you guys as we're heading up. Terrence asked why two outboards again. We oh. did answer that earlier, but just real quick, one of them died, so we got another one, but we kept the other one because we could get parts to fix it. We just were in countries where we couldn't find those parts. Uh, Andy Benson really likes the regenerative engine idea. How much does such a system tend to run? Do people normally do their own installs? So, or does the vendor do them? The vendor will put you in contact with someone that will do the install. You can do it yourself, but it's it's involved. Uh, we ended up paying twenty thousand for the motor, the installation, and the biggest part was the yard bill because the yard kind of screwed us. A lot, like really hard. So, yeah, it, it, it'll really depend on where you are and how much you want to do by yourself. Yeah, the, um, the motor was, we bought it for eight. I think they're up to like 10 now, but the yard was close to 10 grand. It was insane. Yeah. This was back in 2014. Yeah. So we still had income. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you're mowing the lawn with the, me in Nashville, awesome. Always wanted to do that. <laughs> but more the lawn in Nashville? Yes. <laughs> ATX asks which boat show? We're gonna be at the fall boat show. In, in Annapolis. Uh, in Annapolis, ah oh, yes, in Annapolis. Greetings from Journey, Germany. Oh, wow. Oh, the spring boat show starts today. Oh, we're not going to make it. I was like, maybe we go back earlier and see. Nope. <laughs> do we have our solar charge on? Yeah, we do. Oh, yes. Charge on. Or at least I think we do. That's true, ATX so Sailor. We're only doing the entire East Coast ICW, not the entire ICW. Oh. Because now we know that the ICW starts in Texas. I did not know that. Which I had no idea. Oh, I thought it was Norfolk to Key West. Yeah. Whoops. Thank you. <laughs> We're not going to be getting out of Florida before the weekend, Connor, but thanks for the idea. <laughs> Right. Wow, SH 
has done India, go. Haiti, and Mexico. That's pretty amazing. We're going through the bridge now. Sorry for the shakiness. Here we go. We're gonna have to fire the generator up so this batteries are a little low. That sucks. So the sound you hear right now, the background sound, is our motor uh, going pretty much all out. We are, it, we, one of the things we love about it is it's so quiet. Oh my gosh, it is. This was our anchorage three years ago when we were stuck at this bridge that apparently is still no, doing no, no. maintenance. Not this one. We were waiting here because the next one was closed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this was our anchorage. Wow, this is bringing back huge memories. So weird to come back here after 17,000 miles sailed. Yeah. <laughs> we had such big dreams at the time and I haven't done any. All right, we got fire up though. You want to fire the generator? I can do that. Or do you want to steer and I'll fire the generator? Um, one moment. Can we just wait like five minutes while I look, catch up on these questions? Not really. Okay. Like when we were motoring. Okay. So in case you're curious how we know that the batteries are very low, when I was motoring through the bridge, I had it set to 200 amps. And it was 200 and then down to 180 and then 170 and then 160 and when we finally cleared the bridge we we're already down to 140 amps which means the batteries don't have the power to be giving because they're low <laughs> so, uh yeah. yeah so we need to turn on the generator which sucks because it's going to be a little bit of background noise but that's this is life yeah but that's the nice thing you don't always have to listen to a motor with an electric just if you want to go far. Um, real fast though, the burning question inquiring minds are curious to know, is Spam included in today's luncheon menu? <laughs> I actually bought a case of Spam yesterday at Costco. Uh, it is not. Today we're going to be having uh, shrimp. shrimp with cilantro and garlic butter. Uh, did you install additional batteries? We have not. We have not, we just repurposed we just want the house to. bank. Yeah. To be motor bank. Really, yeah, we gotta do we, it. We need the power. Okay. I'm gonna put this here. That is fine. Are you gonna fire it up? Uh, yeah. Okay. You wanna I just... can just hold it. Oh, geez. What just happened? I don't know. It's all right. We're back. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, and in case people are curious, the power we're making. Hi, guys. So we are producing oh, only 140 watts total. That's not right. Yeah, 140 watts. Are we shadowed? Uh, yeah, from the flag. Oh, that's why. We have flag cover. Yep. Want me to take down the flag? Nah, we're gonna fire the generator. Okay. It's all good. Yeah, so the motor bank is now down to it's connecting. Still connecting. Connecting. Yeah. Want me to get that for you? Well, you gotta turn on the choke. Choke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh all right, so Victron says our battery is at 75%. But hey, low. Sorry. That was, that was. Styrofoam is just 
No more insulation. Oh, you have to do the switch of uh, uh, yeah, eco. Wait for it. No, it didn't do it yet. You have to wait for it. No, it just grabbed. It didn't bog down. There it goes. Do you hear the difference? Mets? Yeah. Do you hear the difference? Yeah. Yeah. All right, now curiosity. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm gonna hold the iPad. Whee! All right, would you like to come back? Yeah. The iPad? And just let us know in the comments. I don't see any comments, but Maddie will in a second. Uh, how bad's the noise? <laughs> the generator. What I'm going to do though right now is show you guys our solar oh, setup. Yes. So we have these two panels here. the noise. Apparently not. Hi Gary. Oh. Alright. Back in here the noise isn't as bad. Ooh. I know. So many things. Where are you going? I did. Just let me know we're doing a live video. <laughs> Grab the couch. Okay, um, Louise Brooks, do you plan to tour the Pacific in the future? And uh, unfortunately, we do not. We're going to be kind of staying on this side of things. Hello, Jerry. Yep, okay, so now we're motoring, we're doing two and a half knots. We are drawing 15 amps and charging at 13 amps. So we're actually motoring and charging. So that's, uh, that works. Hi, Charlie. My goodness. Uh, do you have to sail by the tidal charts? Asks Sean McRae. Yeah. We do. Um, we our motor is not quite strong enough. Well, it could just we have the range. Yeah. Um, to sail against the tides, the currents <laughs> are pretty strong in the ICW. Yeah. So like the inlets, we always time them to go at slack water because even if you're with the current, those inlets are vicious. Could a 36 inch air draft be possible? Maybe 36 foot. Or foot? Air draft is height of mast. Oh. On on what? I'm not sure, uh, Hugh, if you could just um, Clarify? be more specific. <laughs> uh, Christopher asks, is anyone hosting this electric challenge? Any winnings? Or bragging, or uh, just bragging rights. Uh, it's basically just bragging rights. We're also going to be featured in a few articles, and uh, we're going to be writing a few articles about it for magazines that have requested it. So stuff like that. But no one specific is hosting it. 
Uh, oh, this is a good question. Can you sail the ICW or do you have to motor? You, you pretty sail. much have to motor for no. some of it, but you can sail. It is possible to sail it. You just have to be really patient because sometimes the winds are not blowing the right way. And uh, if you have to tack the ICW, that would be really inconvenient and difficult, yeah. especially so, in some areas. So like, like right here, it looks really wide, but the channel is only a couple hundred feet wide. So, I mean, if you're tacking, you're short tacking the whole way. Because just outside the channel, it's only a few feet deep. So, yeah, like right now, we could put a sail up and go downwind. But if we were going against the wind, it just wouldn't work out. Uh, yeah. So, um, the answer is yes, but it would be really annoying. <laughs> uh, sometimes we do put up a sail, however, uh, just to kind of add some... Coming down, we did have sails up, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Somebody asked the name of that bridge. Uh, that was the Lake Avenue, Lake bridge. Avenue bridge in Florida. Yeah, Charlie. How many batteries does it take to run motor and type? 48 volts. Uh, so if you have let it, like 12 volt batteries, you need four of them hooked up in series. If you have lithium, it depends on your chemistry. It's between 14 and 16 batteries in Hi, series. Hi, Charlie. Or cells in series. Yeah. So it depends. <laughs> 48 volts. And I don't think that we've mentioned... Oh my god. Wow, Charlie. That <laughs> That's sweet. new. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we've mentioned this, but our motor is the Quiet Torque 20 from Electric Yachts. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Oh my Hello, goodness. Good Are we morning, exercising everybody. our voices? Yes. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Charlie. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Yeah. <laughs> this is new, guys. This is new. <laughs> John Keegan is from Ireland's East Coast. That's awesome. This is going. Yeah. I think that that power boat that passed us and then slowed down was really rare. Um, but it also helped that I was aiming a giant iPad at him while he came closer. <laughs> uh, nevertheless, though, it, it was very nice of him to slow down when he passed me. Oh yeah. my gosh, these parrots. So I actually read an article about how to do that. Uh, if you're looking, okay. Uh, about how to pass sailboats in the ICW with a powerboat, and it's you come full speed at them. When you're like on their stern, you cut your speed to idle, go past them, and then speed up again, and they get no wake. And it, we've seen powerboats do it, and it works, and it's really, really nice. But most of the time, they just go right on by, and we've even had the spray from their bow come in. It's like, dude, why? <laughs> Uh, woke up to watch you guys from Yuma, Arizona. Oh, thank you, Traveling Terry. We're so glad to have you with us. Do you have any special compartment for the electric motors to provide extra protection from unexpected bilge water from Phil Henderson? Uh, we do not. We just keep the bilge low. We now, keep it, we try to keep it dry, nah, but it's, let's be real. Yeah, we keep it low. Um, Jump please ask, uh, where is this? We are currently in the ICW heading up the coast of Florida. Yeah, we're somewhere between... Down south between Lake Worth and West Palm Beach. Yeah, we're... That bridge was Lake Avenue and the next one is Southern Boulevard. So we're 
between them. <laughs> So Pete, uh, if is we that turn, the oh, this is yes. Um, but if we turn on the generator, isn't that cheating for quote all electric? I guess it's electric spinning the pump though. Yeah. Now the other thing, we bought. Oh my gosh! This jug of gasoline, Puerto Rico, and the previous one actually went bad. Uh, it's from January, and it's just, it won't, the motors die when we put it in, it won't run them anymore. So like, that's how little fuel we use. <laughs> Are you hammering the batteries because you know you're replacing them? Oh yeah. Yes, very much. Um, all electricity is generated, thank you SH, that is true. Yeah, the solar panels aren't free to the environment either. Yeah. <laughs> Jump, please ask, what the hell is spam? Oh, there's a case of it in the quarter birds. If you want spam to show them. is a um, spam has a very interesting history. It really came into the world, uh, at least in the U.S., uh, from World War One when it was one of the only foods that has like an unlimited shelf life that is actually not that unhealthy. Everyone thinks that it's made up of like all weird discarded pig parts, but it's actually just preserved ham, basically. Um, yeah, it's uh, good pieces. It's really good pieces of the pork, the, the ham, the pig. <laughs> and so the unhealthy part comes in the sheer volume of salt that it takes to give it an unlimited shelf life. So we'll put it in things like macaroni and cheese and um, pasta. pasta and scrambled eggs. And it's really good. You've been to the Spam Museum. I definitely want to go there. I think for all that I talk about Spam in this Series. Spam should give us uh, some free spam, but no luck. <laughs> hmm. I pulled up the flag. We could use the power. Do we have a transponder AIS? Yes. We do. Which is uh, which is the code slash number? Uh, um. The MMSI. The MMSI. Oof. So we don't know. It's long. It's long, but, but we also wisdom. tend to not uh, give that out all the time because. Well, no, no, it, not that. They're asking about the transponder oh, with the AIS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, free um, traffic. but we are called Wisdom, and yeah. we're the only boat called Wisdom, I believe. No. Only, only, only Wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. It, actually, no. There's a bunch of cargo ships named Wisdom. We're the only sailboat yeah. <laughs> called Wisdom. If they so zoom you can in here, look us they can up. find us. Yeah. Also, you can become a patron and follow our live tracking map. Now, the other thing, tell them the AIS is currently off because it picks up everyone. And yeah, like Herbie point. just said, if you couldn't hear him, the AIS is currently off because in the ICW, it just picks up everyone. And there's so many boats in the ICW. And yeah. we are constantly at the helm, keeping watch, uh, so, so we don't really worry about it. So the, the AIS has an alarm that you can turn off, which we do have off, but Navionics hooks up with the AIS, and I cannot turn off that alarm. And like, every single boat you go by, it's like, you're gonna be within a mile of them. It just starts like, screeching. So we just shut the whole AIS off. Newspapers all over the deck? No. <laughs> no, I'll show you the deck once again, even though it's super cluttered right now. I think you may have just been seeing some shadows. Oh, right there is the width of the channel. 
there's two day markers next to each other. So we can see the width of the channel here. If I stand my butt up and walk forward a little bit. So somebody was asking whether you can sail the ICW and here's why it would be really hard. So yes, we're in this kind of wide area, but the width of the channel is only as wide as these two markers. So it's a dredged channel, which means that everywhere else is too shallow for us at least. And we have a draft of six and a half feet. Um, Will Hemkel, Helm, Helmke is asking if we have an Instagram and the answer is absolutely yes. You can just look us up at Rigging Doctor. We post lots of current photos. Um, that's kind of the way to keep track of where we currently are since the YouTube videos are like five or six months behind. And Bill Todd is wondering where we're headed. We're headed uh, to West Palm Beach on this live video but we're headed to Annapolis, Maryland. Uh, that's kind of our end point for this specific journey. We are now going between the two day markers. Fun fact, the greens are always square and the reds are always triangles for people who are colorblind. Oh, maybe it was World War II for the spam. Sorry guys, my bad. I know it was one of the horrible world wars. Hi Norman from uh, Midland, Texas. Welcome aboard. Okay, let's go back to the cockpit. Doo -doo -doo. I'm trying not to make you guys sick with my camera handling, but it's hard on this iPad. Oh yeah. Instead of the storage side. <laughs> that one's got the boom, the sail. Yeah, the bikes, this is the, the clean this is the cleaner side of the deck. <laughs> Where we actually walk up. Questions are coming in so fast, guys. I love it. But sorry I'm so behind <laughs> on answering them or reading them out. I dye my hair with whatever product is available in that country that is red <laughs> and then I do nothing else. Uh, H 
Asira asks, Sailing life is, uh, oh, Herbie's getting a call. Sailing life is always damp because of the humidity. What is your favorite fabric that feels dry and dries quickly? So I, I shop a lot at West Marine because we get a discount there. Um, for our port supply, and this shirt is one of my favorites. Also, the one Herbie's wearing is from there. Uh, they're from the company Columbia. They they are kind of moisture wicking. They dry really fast, and uh, they also have SPF sun protection, which is something that both of us really need. So I always recommend those for uh, for sunny days at sea. Sorry about the audio breaking up, guys. Hope it's better. Now. So glad so many of you are watching from such far away places. This is really neat for us. Harry Parry's from Thailand. Awesome. Hi, Jerry. Okay, I think I've caught up pretty well. If I missed your question, just go ahead and ask it again, guys. Thanks for being here again. May I say something? Yeah, Herbie's got something to say. I have something for sure. Speak up. Okay. So, uh, with the ICW, <laughs> with the bridges, there's fixed bridges that are 65 feet high and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. And then there's the draw bridges, which open on a schedule. And we've met a lot of people who are like in such a rush, like they have to maintain such a speed to get to the next bridge at its opening and like, they're so stressed out where with the electric, we're not going to make that time. So we're just relaxed. We're like, we get there when we get there. That's it. So my, my point is, if you do the ICW, just relax, enjoy it. I mean, if you get to a bridge that opens at the hour and half hour, right? So it's a 30 minute period. If you get there, the longest you're going to wait is like 20 minutes because the bridge is open for a while. So it's, Chill out, take it easy, enjoy it. That is my thing. <laughs> oh yeah, we're doing 2.8 knots at 15 amps, which is 0.8 kilowatts. So that's about one horsepower. Uh, okay, audio is being weird apparently. Oh. Maybe it's because of the intermittent wind and the, all the background noise. That is wind right We've got, yeah, some major wind happening. Oh, that's our nasty interior. There's no... Right behind the dodge. Nope. Where I just was. Oh. oh my goodness, Jerry. So much to say. Woo! The 
love tub boat. Herbie the love tub boat. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Woo, right. Reli is in Israel. That's awesome. Okay, what's been the most uncomfortable part of your trip? Damien West asks, and that's a really good question. Um, I think the most uncomfortable part of our trip was our crossing up from Azores to mainland Portugal. It was a 1800 uh, mile journey, and I don't think a single day was good. <laughs> um, we were dealing with some really heavy weather and we were doing this huge arc to avoid the high pressure system that sits between the Azores and northern Portugal. So we had to go way up above that arc and then kind of come down on Portugal, excuse me, to like the Porto area. Um, we had storms, 50 knot winds, huge seas. I was extremely sick the entire time and uh, it was just really really bad but the end result was us arriving right near Porto in Portugal which is an incredible area of the world we just absolutely loved it we stayed for months and so it's always worth it uh, we, we have some uncomfortable days but from what we and we try to show them as well. Some people say, oh, you're, you know, you're uh, living the life, but you're complaining. And yeah, uh, some days are not so good, <laughs> but it is always worth it for those perfect days of sailing and the adventure of it all and the story that we get to tell afterwards. So we don't regret any of it, but there are definitely days that are a lot more challenging than others. Captain Jerry is doing a hostile takeover. Yeah, Jerry is doing this thing where she exercises her vocal. She's like realizing that she can make other sounds. So she's just, she said her first word yesterday, which was hello. And she's just kind of like realizing that she has these muscles to control her sound that she didn't, she had before. So she's just been like experimenting and it's really fun to listen to. Okay, people are having issues with the volume, um, but some people aren't. There's nothing I can do on my end. Um, I have, let's see, I have no, okay, I can mute. And, I have muted and unmuted, um, but there, I don't think there's anything else I can really do. Some people are saying that if they restart their YouTube uh, app, it's fixing itself. So sorry for the, um, for that, but I hope that if you figure it out, because we're saying really important stuff that you don't want to miss. <laughs> Especially Jerry has a lot to say. Did your latest built cheese jar last? <laughs> um, well, we had it waiting for a couple months before we ate it, and then once we started eating it, it lasted like maybe a week. Yeah, we ate it. So we much. ate it. We ate it so hard. <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know what built cheese is, go check out our out our episode called I think it's called built cheese. Yes. Uh, it's really good. I highly recommend. It. Yeah, um, I think it will make a hell of a good book when we're done. I am actually writing a book, uh, so I, I'm a writer and I love writing, and it's always been a dream of mine to be published. I'm not going to do the self-publishing thing, I'm going to try to be like actually published, 
Um, so it'll be a couple years probably before the book is out, but I'm writing it and I'm having a wonderful time doing so because it's a fantastic way to just kind of reflect on more of the philosophical aspects of sailing and what I've learned from our trip, uh, this specific four year trip has been so impactful on how I look at life and how we go through the world and interact with people. It's just been the most amazing experience for so many reasons. And taking you along with us and learning about sailing has been amazing, but there's also the whole kind of self-discovery aspect of sailing that not many people talk about. And I can't wait to, I, I can't wait to express it in this book that I'm that I'm working on. It's it's going to be really hopefully uh, fun. <laughs> I, I'm I'm enjoying it, so I hope that I hope you guys enjoy it whenever it comes out, and I'll definitely let you know when it does. But you may be waiting a while. <laughs> Oh. As for the someone from Poland, they're flying a U.S. and a Polish flag. Ah, representing. So one thing that we notice a lot here in in Florida, at least along the ICW, is there are a lot of European flags being flown. You can also see a lot of really neat architecture. So like the difference between that house and that house is really neat. And there's a Polish flag flying over there. I'm sure you can't see it, but it's there. Yeah, Jerry. What else do you have to say? Yeah. Did you see engineless Kevin Boothby at yeah. the Anchorage in Key Biscayne recently? Yes. Uh, asks Jean Claude Noel, who has a very French and lovely name. Yes, we did see Kevin Boothby. We have. Uh, hung out with him before in Baltimore and we were excited to see him in Key Biscayne as well. He has a great YouTube channel if you guys want to check it out called How to Sail Oceans and he is completely engineless. He's like the more hardcore version of us. <laughs> Which is why Maddie chose me <laughs> over him. <laughs> oh, Lars, that's a good point. Lars thought that the answer to the most uncomfortable trip was going to be the keel hanging in ICW on the way down. That was pretty uncomfortable, but I got to say, I'll take that any day over the conditions we had <laughs> in the Atlantic on our way to uh, Portugal. Yeah. And that should tell you a lot right there. <laughs> Uh, oh, Will Hempy says, my partner is scared of future seasickness, and your great attitude through all of it gives her a good outlook. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I, I often have to fight seasickness with a good attitude, and that's one of the reasons I'm very grateful for the YouTube channel, because it kind of forces me to get into a better mood and laugh about my state. I will say that in that passage, to uh, Portugal, there was a lot of tears and um, just kind of whining and sadness <laughs> that we did not show, uh, just because I was growing up so much. <laughs> uh, but we did show it a little bit. I definitely, I definitely didn't pretend to be happy on that crossing, and I've never pretended to be happy. It's just, uh, it's great because YouTube forces me into a better mood because I, I can look at my life from a third person perspective. And when you look at your life that way, everything kind of gets put into a different light. And it's been a really neat kind of experiment for us. I think also when you're editing, then you see yourself 
like in retrospect again like exactly how you were and if you see that you're really grumpy and but you look back on you're like was it that bad you know then you uh you get a different outlook on it the next time you go to it it's true <laughs> jerry my goodness Oh, Jeff says hello from Charlotte, North Carolina. We love Charlotte. I have family there. It's a wonderful town. Uh, is that the sound of your electric motor? Asks Keith Curtis. And um, no, actually, the electric motor is virtually silent. That is the sound of our generator that we had to put on after we raced to get through a bridge opening and drained our battery. <laughs> Uh, so we apologize for that background sound. I know it's not the greatest, but uh, it is actually allowing us to get to, through the ICW. We won't have to use it nearly as much once we replace our batteries. Uh, Warren is asking, uh, how far did we get since about 9.30? <laughs> That's actually a good question. How far have we come? I will check. I didn't miss start. You did? Wait a second. <laughs> he, he forgot to hit start. Well, just look at the... Yeah, um, yeah. I'll just do straight line. Yeah. Indirectly, that is the sound of the electric motor. That's true. Uh, 3.7 miles. Okay, so since we started this uh, live video, we've gone 3.7 miles. That's with waiting for two bridges. Um, and we have about four to go. I don't know if I've elaborated on what you wanted to know to answer my question. Hugh, I'm looking back and I'm not Here's a giant fast wake. seeing the I question. Make a splash. Uh oh. Okay. Thank you. You cleared the bridges at 39 feet, I think it was. Oh, so these bridges are closed. 36 feet. Yeah. So when these bridges are closed, they're like 20 feet high. Uh, the fixed bridges are 65. So you'll clear the fixed, you still have to wait for the draw bridges. Uh, Barry asks, has your sailing experience changed uh, you both as people? Yes. And the answer is absolutely. Um, you, I don't think can travel for four years, especially in a sailboat, and not change. And uh, all the changing has been for the better. I will speak on that because I can, um, I think, elaborate a little more on how it has changed me. I used to be an unadventurous eater. <laughs> and I've become a much more adventurous eater. We actually did a live video a few months back, 10 ways that sailing has changed me, and that might be worth checking out. Uh, I know how hard it is to watch live videos, not live, <laughs> so I understand if that's not your thing, but it's definitely made me a lot more optimistic about just people in general, because uh, when you're sedentary, you kind of see one aspect of human humanity, and it's through the media most of the time. And so when you travel the world and you meet new people, and everywhere you go, everyone is super kind and warm and helpful. It just gives you a much better attitude towards the human race, I think. 
than you can get by watching the news and seeing the media and stuff like that. The other thing is it's made me a lot more patient. Um, sailing really forces you to forego a lot of that control that you have in your daily life, especially when you have access to a car and just kind of thing come to you a lot more, um, a lot more quickly. So when you relinquish that control and you understand that, especially with an electric motor, the way we sail, everything that we do depends on the weather. And so if the weather isn't there, there's nothing we can do about it. And we just, all we can do is just make the most of that time that we have got. And so it's making me, it's making me so much more patient and understanding that I don't always have control. Um, and so what to do with the time that I have rather than sit there and mope about the time that's going by that I can't do anything about. If that makes any sense, it's going to be <laughs> going to be a lot more iterated, a lot more um, in the book. Yeah, I see. Yeah, Herbie's got something to say. Yes. So, as far as the batteries not being able to get us through the bridge and that whole business, and we need the generator, so the batteries had a lot of power left in them. The problem is they couldn't give the power up fast enough at their state of charge. So the faster the discharge battery, the less amount of power you can actually suck out of it because it just can't give it up. If you draw a much slower amount, you can get a lot more power out. So that's why like the batteries aren't dead, but when we were giving it all it's got, they just they couldn't do it. So that's why the generator helps put it back, get up to a higher point where it can give out that little bit faster to get through the next bridge. But lithium does, it, it just, it's much better with the letting the power out. Hello? <laughs> Who is that? Hello? <laughs> Bam. Oh. This is the second one today. <laughs> um, so we've been asked how much more time before we drop the hook and We've got about four miles to go. I invite you to leave and come back. If that's something that you need to do, we'll still be here. <laughs> um, but I also invite you to just kind of have us on in the background because... Yeah. Well, we have about half hour to the next bridge and then it's past that. So the next bridge, are we going to be arriving when it opens? No. Okay, so we're going to have to wait for the bridge. Yep. Um, how fast are we going right now? 2.7. Ouch. Yeah. Can't go any faster? We gotta charge. Okay. We could go fast, but we wouldn't be charging. Is your electric motor rated for continuous duty or does it have duty cycle limitations? Continuous duty. Continuous duty. Tee hee hee. Yeah. That's duty all the time. When you replace your batteries, how many amp hours are you guys planning on putting in? 400 in lithium. And then, when the budget allows, then expanding that to 600 amps in lithium. Oh, Jeff, welcome to the adventure. Glad to have you with us. Jeff just became a new subscriber. Cool. Are you guys planning to transport Greta? Thunberg anywhere this year. If you, if so, can we make requests on the destination? Is that a? She's the girl that goes on sailboats from place to place. Oh. She, she has schedules and need to be places at times. <laughs> we can't really follow through on schedules and times. Yeah. Oh. Hello, Jerry. <laughs> oh, Charlie's moving. Oh my goodness. 
just look at the damage. Mm. Uh. Sudoku. Oh no. No, Charlie. My Sudokus. You have some pellets, Charlie. Eat your pellets. I can figure out exactly how much time until the face. Hi, Terry. South Pacific Island travel in the future? Many people like to ask us that. Unfortunately, the answer is no. Uh, we're Atlantic cruisers through and through. Um, there's a lot of Pacific Islands and destinations that I'd love to go to by plane. Like one o'clock we should be getting there. And we should be arriving at West Palm Beach at 1 p.m. Roughly. Today. Roughly. Oh no. <laughs> we'll see. This is definitely going to be our, our longest live video to watch afterwards if you're not watching us live but it's really awesome to have you guys here with us I gotta say it's enriching our experience we've got 134 people on here right now we have 135 likes which is crazy awesome so thanks for liking the video and I'd like to show you some of the architecture that we're passing right now this is really pretty even though it's a little far away Um, no, we don't have any immediate plans to sail to South Africa. I'm not going to rule it out, but um, definitely not within the next few years. Like I said, uh, we're planning on adding a few extra crew members uh, in the next couple years, so that might kind of have an effect on our travel plans, if you know what I mean. Dream crushers. <laughs> Everything Cali, I definitely could have guessed that you were from California. <laughs> but hello, I'm glad that you're with us. Did you know your boat warranty is about to expire <laughs> because of the spam calls? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Jerry. So Jeff asks, how do you, how do we like the keys? And we only, we only went to one key, <laughs> um, Key Biscayne reason being we don't actually fit in the keys which is why we're going to be going back in our refitted Allberg 30 once we finish that refit once we get back to Annapolis so we'd love to go to the keys we've heard wonderful things about them but we can't form an opinion on them right now Dayton Ohio Kind of near where I went to college in Worcester, Ohio. Greg Guthman says, how about Greece? Well, now's a, as great a time as any um, to announce something really awesome that has happened to us. A few months ago, we were on a podcast 
uh, Ocean Cruisers podcast, which I invite you to check out. It's really neat. This guy interviews mostly YouTube channels um, about ocean cruising and asks really great questions. So you can get to know them by listening to that podcast. So we were on that. And he, his name is Andy. He decided to set up a charter in Greece for four YouTube channels. And he decided to invite us to be one of those YouTube channels. So this October, we're going to be flying to Greece and chartering a, oh boy, 56 foot Ocean Star, um, which is a huge boat, much bigger than Wisdom and has five cabins, five heads. It's insane. It's going to be a week long adventure. We're going to be with um, Michael and Joel from Bums on a Boat, as well as Alex and Mandy from See the Little Things and Josh Post from Josh Post. And uh, they're all about our size when it comes to YouTube channels. We're just going to have an absolute blast. So we have plans to cruise Greece, which was our original plan to do in Wisdom until COVID hit. And uh, we turned around and went out of the Met. So it's just a dream come true for us. We are so honored to be included in this and we're so excited for the crossover of the YouTube channels, but also to just show you guys what it's like to cruise the Greek Isles as we find out ourselves. It's one of the most popular destinations for cruisers all over the world. So this October, we'll be there and we'll be able to experience that for ourselves, which is just an amazing gift. We're so excited. And you're the first to know about it other than our patrons. Um, so thanks, Greg, for bringing that up. It would be incredible. And anyone who has sailed Greece before, you know, let us know any kind of destinations that you suggest. We're going to be starting in Cyrus, S-Y-R-O-S. Uh, and we're going to be from there Charlie. sailing to... Um, What's it called? Santorini. <laughs> Santorini. <laughs> going to be uh, going from Cyrus to Santorini. We're also going to be spending some time in Athens, just the two of us, to see things like the Acropolis, of course. <laughs> yes, Jerry. destination and are you going on the hard uh, our final destination for this particular trip is Annapolis Maryland we'll probably be going on the hard um, just uh, since we will have sailed so many miles and then we'll come off the hard and we'll we'll live in a, a marina for a while while we are um, making crew, making crew <laughs> for visas um, but also working really hard on our Albert 30 to completely revamp that boat and make it a cruising boat. Hello from Croatia. Awesome, Theta. Welcome. Southern Boulevard Bridge. Southern Boulevard Bridge. This is Northbound Sailing Festival. Don't call Kirby the love tub for nothing. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. <laughs> You got better eyes. Can you look and see if that bridge looks open or this is the one that was under construction. Can you, can you look at that? I, I am mean, looking looks, at something for Herbie. You like it's open or not or that bridge is currently closed. This is the 
one that was under construction last time. Oh. and having them respond to us right away but for some reason we're having trouble getting in contact with the bridges on this passage it's under construction so it might not even be opening so therefore no one mends it Childers. <laughs> um, I'm really glad you're with us and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Good morning, SV Allegro. It is a beautiful day to be out here. Phone number's disconnected. Oh, no, that's weird. Okay. Southern Boulevard Bridge. Southern Boulevard Bridge. Oh, Kevin. Northbound vessel. Breaking Doctor is one of your favorite channels. I was just wondering what your opening schedule is. Okay, I'll wait until I'm closer. Okay, someone's there. Okay. Go ahead. This thing our trip might be cut a little short. Yeah. So, four, three years ago, this bridge was closed for construction for months, and we had to wait a couple weeks for it to open. So I was having a flashback. <laughs> All right, so SB Allegro says that they have a girlfriend and want another boat. She has never sailed. Any advice on what to get? She is bougie. <laughs> oh. Well, get a it, new all, girlfriend. <laughs> it all depends on new girlfriend. That's awful. <laughs> um, I would say, Allegro, that it all depends on what you're planning on doing with said boat. Are you uh, ocean cruising or are you doing things like this at the ICW uh, or just coastal cruising? That's all going to make a difference in what kind of boat you get. If you're looking for something just cushy that you're going to take out just every now and then, uh, it's going to be something very different from if you're doing some serious cruising. Yes. Yeah, sure. Gotta go. Um, yeah, Jim S. Uh, yeah, and anybody else who is joining us uh, recently, the noise is the generator that is running. It is not the motor. Um, we have to be running the generator to create power so that we are indeed charging instead of just uh, keeping up with our motor right now. So we are running it right back there in that hush box. And the noise is annoying, and trust me, it's even more annoying for us than it is for you. <laughs> uh, but we have to run it in order to gain charge while we mosey up towards West Palm Beach. Is your current battery AGM or regular lead acid? Lead acid. It is unfortunately regular lead acid, which is all we could get while we were in Portugal and had to replace our battery bank. But we are hoping for lithium. The name of the podcast, Will Hempke, was um, Ocean Cruisers Podcast. Or Ocean Cruising. Ocean Cruising or Ocean Cruisers. I will find out. That's a big difference. Yeah. How do I find out? Uh, Zeke says Santorini is a very long sail. Actually, Santorina, Santorini is only nine miles from the island of Cyrus or Cyrus. So it won't be a long sail at all. <laughs> uh, how many miles will we do today? We will be doing 12 miles today. About. Yeah. 10. 10. Uh, 
uh, Traveling Terry asks, have we watched Clark and Emily's adventure on YouTube? Where he talks about adding a small amount of lithium, uh, wet cell lead acid batteries. And I don't think we have. We don't actually watch a lot of YouTube because we are um, out sailing and editing our own YouTube videos and it actually takes a lot of time. We try to watch some YouTube here and there, especially the ones that we've met and are new friends, but there are a lot of channels out there that we haven't actually seen. Find out the name of the podcast? No, I was checking our batteries. Oh. Sorry. Let me look it up. Ocean Cruisers Podcast. Yep, okay. So it is the Ocean Cruisers Podcast. That's what we were on, and that is what connected us with this um, big, amazing opportunity in Greece. Ooh, Gio has asked a really good question. Where do you see yourselves in five years? <laughs> That's really hard because so hard. I will say four years ago, we left Baltimore with the intention of sailing and traveling for nine months. And it's been four years. So if we had answered that question then, it never would have been accurate. So I don't want to say where I think we'll be in five years because I know that there's no way we can actually know that. We kind of, we are so, um, go with the flow. We, exactly. Herbie just said, go with the flow uh, of life. We kind of go where life takes us. And we definitely have plans. I mean, we want to sail Canada. We, we want to sail Maine. And, um, and we want to go further south as well. So I, But I don't have a timeline. I, I don't know where we'll be. It's exciting to think about, though. We're always planning future travels. Southern Boulevard Uh, we're trying to figure out this next bridge opening here. It's a weird looking bridge. It's a strange bridge. It looks open, but not. Yeah. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a landlocked houseboat, but oh, I guess you're oh, in like a lake or yeah, something. Like lake, uh, Tom yeah, Lake. that's awesome. Mike Childers says not to worry about that bridge. 
it will open in time for my great grandson to sail under it. He's about six years old. <laughs> yep. how it works now. It's got a thing that goes up. Oh. No, 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 no. It says it's yeah, a basket. Yeah, yeah. That sounded so dumb because they're all draw bridges. <laughs> but as in the bridge lifts like an elevator, the central section goes up so you still have an air draft limit. All right. Okay, cool. Let's see how we're charging. How many amp hours do you currently have in your battery bank for the motor? Checking that right now, actually. Uh, 260. Okay, we have 260 amp hours currently. Are we looking for any specific lithium battery monitors? Yes, the one from Overkill Solar. It looks so robust. Uh, there's another YouTube channel called Will Prouse. And he does lithium and just all that. And he's done tests on them and those have been like really well made and really reliable. So that's the one we're doing. Purely by his recommendation. <laughs> uh, don't we worry about the generator overheating with the noise shroud on it? Yep, that's what I was checking earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Um, it is open in the back. Yeah. So there's airflow, but we do worry about that. It's just incredibly annoying to have it without the um, without the box. <laughs> but we do check it every now and then. Man, some gorgeous boat is coming up. Ooh, gorgeous boat, you say? On yeah, which side? Right there. Oh wow, that is a beautiful boat. So we are not power boaters, but we still appreciate gorgeous power boats. And here comes one right now. He's going about the speed we would go in a power boat. That's beautiful. You know what's really impressive? What? That's a wood. It's a wooden boat. That is a you can see the planks. full wooden boat. Mm. Oh. Charlie, did you appreciate that boat? Nah. <laughs> because of the wood. Yes. Um, so we've got a really great question here from Christopher Hutchins. Um, I have found the money is there. I have found the money is is easier the easier part, uh, but the accrual, accrual accrual of skills and confidence is difficult. Could you both comment on that? You want to start? Sure. Uh very much. Uh, you can read, and reading is how we learned how to do all this stuff, but then when you go out there, like, well now to us, eight to ten foot seas is like a calm day on the ocean, but when we started that was like pooping your pants scary. <laughs> and But you're just out there for so long that that just becomes the normal. And when you have the really calm days, it's glorious, but like those are like the normal days for you. When it gets bigger, then you're like, oh, it's a rough day. But yeah, it's it does take practice and time. Um, I'll go more in depth on that. So money accrual is, it's not easy, but you'll find that you can make it, if you want something badly enough, you'll be able to 
make it so that your budget fits into something that you can do. So we spent a year saving up for a nine month journey, but we've ended up going way beyond that and YouTube is our current uh, form of income with the occasional rigging job by Herbie and the occasional commission painting by me. So we've managed to set a budget for ourselves that doesn't break our bank and we end up saving instead of spending all of the money we have. <laughs> so it's uh, your method of cruising really will kind of adjust itself to what you're able to handle monetarily. As for actually accruing confidence and abilities, that is hard because in order to do that, you need to actually get out there and sail. And the hardest part about cruising is not uh, getting ready. It, it, it's not actually cruising in itself. It's leaving. It's just getting out there and uh, forcing yourself to leave because you will never actually be ready. You just have to go. So <laughs> that moment when you push off, everything becomes easier after that because you'll just gain confidence as you go. It just takes a, a long time to learn all of these things that we now, I mean, we're still learning and gaining confidence every day. And a lot of our learning is from you guys. Uh, you'll comment on our videos. You'll you'll talk to us on these live chats. And we learn a lot from other sailors as well who we get together with. And in the sailing community, you'll find that whenever you are in an anchorage, all you have to do is go up to a boat and knock on the hall. And you're, you've got new friends. Um, and you can bounce ideas off of each other. And you're just constantly learning. So, so we just started this. We've been sailing for four years. This is like in construction now. Like you're always changing. Like yeah, you're, you're talking real. Uh, I was for you to say. Oh yeah, you say it. Oh okay. Like this hush box, I and mean, we've been four years out with a generator for the like three of those years, and we are now building a hush box. Like if you if on our list of like oh we need a hush box to go, we weren't ready. I'm like we're. You're never ready. So just <laughs> kind of go and do it along the way. Yeah, I hope that kind of answers the question. Do you think the Catalina 36 would benefit if I added an inner force day to help with light wind sailing in the Caribbean and for the storm sail when needed? For the storm sail, yes. For light wind, you'd benefit from a bowsprit. To put like an asymmetric on, that, that would... Sorry, extra work. Did we see that the Annapolis Boat Show starts yet yesterday starts today? Uh, yeah. Well, we did now. We we, we saw it in the comments. <laughs> in your comments. <laughs> um. So yeah, I guess we're not there, are we? Oh, there goes the hush box. You want to check in there while you're at it? There's Herbie's butt why everybody watches. Maybe that should be our thumbnail. Ah, good, uh, good question, Will. What is our monthly budget in 2021? Lynn Party's figures change over time in her writing. Uh, we were at 500. Um, 
and we still are. Yeah. So we actually, it's funny, we just watched our old, old video about budgeting to see like if we've changed at all. And the answer is we have not. So we still budget about $500 a month for the two of us, but we have a buffer of another 500. So we, our goal is 500, but we have a thousand like that we won't feel really bad if we spend. Awesome. And it all averages out because we'll spend a few months, uh, we'll spend a whole month crossing the ocean, for instance, to pay nothing. And then the next month we might, uh, it, it rolls over. So uh, it all averages out to be about that, but some months, you know, we'll have, we'll, we'll have heavy spending months where we get some new gear for the boat or um, stuff like that. Yeah. The gear, we don't count that in the budget. We actually just save up for that. It's like, that's why we bought these panels because we saved up, we had the cash, so we bought them. Then we don't have the cash to do the lithium batteries, so we're saving up. And then we'll buy them when we're ready. But like our budget is like our food. Food and activities food. Yeah. and stuff like that. Um, we do, so our things like that end up costing a lot, like our lithium batteries and stuff, we're saving up with the money that we're getting through Patreon for that. Uh, because that's really, that's where we like to spend that specific money um, that comes in. So... That camera gear. Yeah, that and camera gear to make better videos. <laughs> uh, so that's our monthly budget. It kind of varies, but we try for 500 I updated the Amazon wish list. We have updated our Amazon <laughs> wish list. <laughs> oh, hi from Lisbon, Paolo Martin. Ah, we love Lisbon. It's wonderful that you're there. One dia. One. One. Bougie. Is it 11:30? It is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. One dia. Well, for him, it'd be both dad by now. Does Herbie still derive income from his dentist practice? Uh, over the past year, we haven't been able to get home for that. So, no. Uh, our income has solely been YouTube-based for the entire year of COVID. Thank you, thank you. actually waiting for this bridge that's why we're just kind of sitting here yeah the motors in neutral we're off the motor is off we are um, waiting for the 1145 opening of this bridge which is in about 15 minutes uh, 11 11 minutes so we got time just kind of float here very exciting <laughs> If this you, is the ICW. This is the ICW. If you haven't caught on yet, um, the ICW is very low-key, very, just, you have to have a lot of patience for the bridge openings and everything, but uh, it's it's just really chill. We, we sit here, usually Herbie and I will uh, go back and forth with the helming, but since I'm handling the, the camera here, Herbie's She's helming. Busy. <laughs> How much lithium are we saving up for? Uh, I'm budgeting five thousand dollars for that for everything, so it's kind of what can I buy with five grand, which is looking like four hundred amps and four charge controllers or four BMSs. What is our go-to soda? Huh. Assuming you mean soda like Coca-Cola soda, um, neither of us drink soda. Well, my go-to soda is beer. <laughs> Ginger 
ginger ale. Uh, Herbie likes ginger ale. I don't go to soda. <laughs> but back when I did drink soda, my go-to was Dr. Pepper. I still miss it. I love that kind of question. <laughs> Uh, we're not moving. Except turning around and, and fight the wind. And, and, oh, that's a cool name. Ewood. 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 Gov. Uh, we're not moving. We're just spinning around in circles waiting for the bridge to open. What do we do for health insurance, especially now that we're back uh, where the costs are higher? We have health insurance through my practice. So, yes, Jerry. So we've actually always had health insurance while I've been away. Uh, it's just through my practice. Yeah, so, um, Kirby owns his, oh my, yes, Jerry. Kirby owns his practice still in Maryland, and so we have health insurance through the practice. We've been using that same health insurance for our entire journey. Special circumstances. Keep coming to New Jersey. I have three cavities. Jim Herbie would be happy to handle your cavities if you drive down to Maryland in May. We'll be in Maryland for the entire month of May, um, staying with family. And working. And working. Many workings. My goodness, there are airplanes going over, there are birds screaming, there are motors all around us, and there's the generator running. <laughs> yeah, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Hello, Jerry. Hello. Charles, uh, Charlie asks, did you think about electric for the outboard motor? And the answer is yes. We would love an electric for our outboard, but we're gonna wait until we're using our hard dinghies again so that we have a place for our battery for that electric motor. Yeah, the, picking up batteries is really heavy. Like, that outboard weighs 27 pounds, and an electric outboard weighs like three. Not actually, but they're super light. But then you have to pick up a 50 pound battery. So, that. <laughs> I want something that I can mount the batteries in and it just like lives there. And then we'll do it. What is the depth of the ICW? Um, it depends on the area. This place is dredged to be 10 feet. Uh, other areas are dredged to be like eight. And other areas are really deep. So I would say uh, we're kind of the deepest draft that I would recommend for the ICW. There have been people who do it with like seven foot drafts, but we're six and a half and we have run aground um, multiple times, especially up north in North Carolina. So I wouldn't attempt it with a draft more than six and a half feet. Yeah. Do you think that's good? Yeah. yeah. A four and a half is great for the ICW. Have we gotten our vaccinations yet? Uh, no. We haven't been in Maryland, and they won't give it to us here. So we're driving up. We're driving up to Maryland in May, where we will then become vaccinated. We do have to get vaccinated in order to go to Greece in October. Jerry has such dulcet tones. <laughs> Love it. Oh, Hugh is um, up a little from us in Newport, Ritchie, Florida. Well, Hugh, if you'd like to meet up, 
we would love to set that up with you. Just get in contact with us on Facebook Messenger. Oh my God. Or that email was, us. That was Charlie. Or email us at riggingdr at gmail.com. Have we considered doing the America's Great Loop? Yes. We, we, oh my goodness. We've talked about it. We have considered briefly, that. Um, which is part of the tabernacle idea. So if we do, yeah. That or in a trawler. Oh, okay. it's your hair. My hair. Yes. Oh. Jerry, I mean, Charlie just pooped. Do you want me to get it? Yeah, All right. it's the second one. You can hold this. Yes. It is facing you. Ah. Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, well, we're waiting for that bridge back there to go up, is what we're doing. So I'm motoring at 30 amps. I hope you guys can see right there. That's kind of holding us in place. So, yes. Are we going to be able to yeah. turn the generator off? Uh, maybe. Okay. Maddie wants to know if we can turn the generator off. But, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, about the newspaper on deck. So we are working on the potty training. And Charlie is... Well, except for as you guys can see right now. She's normally good. Like, she'll let me know she's going to poop. And then I put her somewhere so she doesn't poop on me. The problem is when she's standing somewhere, she also just likes to go poop. So, that's the issue. <laughs> so it said to just run towards the bridge, they'll open it. And yeah. Maybe in a rental boat <laughs> that has a a mast made of rubber. <laughs> With full coverage insurance. Always the insurance. Alright, what's the time? 43. Alright. Cut our speed. Turn back towards the bridge. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, someone with a four foot nine draft around the ground. Yeah. It's there's shallow spots. I mean, we've been in areas where Navionics says it's supposed to be like 11 feet deep and we just slam into the bottom. That was in North Carolina because the sand shift all the time. Uh, let's see, as far as what is the largest draft that you can be supported, uh, it depends on the state because each state is supposed to do their job of dredging. And, uh, you know, some states do it, some don't. Here in Florida, it's been pretty neat consistently. Oh, a lifting keel, question about that. Yes, a lifting keel would be excellent because you can just pick up. Can you take the boat and iPad? Uh, okay. Are you going through the bridge? No, no, but oh, okay. I'm trying to get in line. I don't want to hit the barges. Let me spin you guys around so you can see the mayhem up here. That. That is what we need to get through. Uh, the question was if we're using both electric motors. Oh, wait, bridge is opening. I'm going to just put this here. You guys can enjoy the view of uh, my leg. Jerry. <laughs> Alright, bridge is coming up. That's actually a good place for it. Alright.
right, guys. <laughs> we will be back with you in a moment. <laughs> Showing a lot of leg there. kill it at least for the run. Yeah. All right, he's on a 44 foot island packet. So his mast is taller than us. So we'll go behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it up. Okay. It's uh looking this way. As you can see. Here we go. because only half the bridge is open. That's nerve wracking. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, Wisdom, our boat, is a 45 foot Morgan from 1968. I saw that question asked. That's a good question. currently running under about 675 watts of solar with our electric motor going up the ICW. Towards West Palm Beach in Florida. It is very live. 
We're gonna shut down the generator. Oh, blessed silence. Yes. So much better. So much, so much. Much, much. All right. The children are working on some nuts. All right. I will now settle down and read your comments. Uh, yeah. is facing me. All right. Hi guys. Uh, how full are the batteries now? I will tell you. I'll try to give it back to Matt. <laughs> All right. Let's see. The batteries are pretty good. Nice not to have to yell over that generator, my gosh. All right, batteries are at 83%, so 50 volts. Uh, for 48 volts, 52 is like full. So we're pretty good. And 36 is like, you're done, they're dead. So we're, uh, we're doing well. Oh, and we're actually charging right now. We can go a little faster. We're, the solar panels are putting in five amps. Sweet. No more power. Or we could charge. <laughs> but we'll do power. <laughs> yeah, well, let's do power. Ooh, yeah, that's let's... a loud airplane going on. Bye. I check the bridge time. Yeah, we do power. Alright, we Let's see when that bridge is. Oh, so a nice thing. On Navionics, all the bridges have their times open or listed. So this one opens hour and half hour. So you just plot a course to the bridge and then you set your time so that your arrival is like close to that. It's nice. <laughs> Drop the iPad a little. I would love a banana. Oh my goodness. Love you. <laughs> right, you get in position and I'll keep the iPad. It's important that I open my banana first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Issue. What? It's on the other side of the iPad. Oh, that sucks. Plugging in the iPad. Mm, you can put on the on this thing. Yeah. Hopefully it's charging. Welcome to live video. 
<laughs> I don't, I can't tell if it's charging or not. Swipe down from the top like you're adjusting brightness? Mm hmm. Is it charging? It is. Good. I think Charlie's getting the nut out and eating it. Well, she likes those. Yeah. Hi, Jerry. Want some banana? Want your hat. Hi, Charlie. Says, where are you? What road is that? That one was <laughs> Southern Boulevard. That was Southern Boulevard Bridge. And we're coming up on Royal Palm Bridge. We're coming up on Royal Palm Bridge in uh, Florida. Palm, not Farm. Palm. Is yeah. I, did I say Farm? Yeah. Jer Jerry, that's not the oh, part of the Royal banana Park you eat. Bridge. Royal Park. I bet. Royal Park. Ah. Can you run when the generator is running? Well, we must be near an airport. We're all in the airports. It's Florida. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so the oh, it's so quiet. Okay, so the generator powers a battery charger, which puts out 25 amps. So right there, we could run off the generator without touching the batteries at 25 amps, and then the solar panels put out power as well. Okay which we will find out how much in a second here. Where are you going? The solar panels, but... Oh, the flag's covering them. They're putting out two amps. Give me a second, let me fix the flag. What's your goal, Jerry? Ah, ah, ah. ah. Be nice. Be nice. Siblings. Okay. Panels are exposed. Okay. Now they're putting out 10 amps. 12 amps. Nice. Okay, so the solar is putting out 12 amps right now? Yeah. And then the... So from that we Oh my we gosh, can, that's a huge wig. Yeah, that was... <laughs> reduced he slowed down for us wow now he's going yeah so the solar puts out 12 amps and then the motor puts out 25 amps or the generator so and that lets us motor at 37 amps without touching the batteries which is nice which is why we we're running the th thing oh i tried but. to aim the camera at you but there's a giant nothing something in a way it's fine is it your thumb no it's this. Oh, that, yes. So anyway, yeah, that's the short answer, is we can go much faster with the generator on, which is what we're doing. Um, Jana says, are you meeting with bums on a boat today? Uh, we met with them back in Puerto Rico. They're actually headed in the opposite direction. They're not in the US. They're headed down to Grenada, I think. Eventually, yeah, right now they're on their way to uh, the Virgin Islands. But we're meeting them in Greece in October. <laughs> for a shared charter, which I spoke of earlier. If you weren't there, I'm sorry. I don't want to go into it all again, but it's really exciting. Oh yeah, bananas are supposedly bad luck on boats. But they're delicious. But they're so good. The trick is eat them before the curse comes. <laughs> Damien West asks, what's our favorite colors? Well. I love that question. Favorite Mine colors. is pink, like this color pink. But also, I love that like turquoise blue that you see in the Bahamas. Uh, it's a very specific blue. It's actually really close to Herbie's shirt. That is my favorite color. What's your favorite color? Red. Herbie likes red. And blue. Dark, <laughs> like dark blue. <laughs> and red. Like <laughs> lots of reds. 
very unoriginal. What? <laughs> I like red and blue. I guess pink is also unoriginal. Yeah, especially for a girl. Mm -hmm. So, whatever the term is. I'm trying to read your questions, guys. Sorry, there are so many and I love it. Does more dollars, example $10,000, mean a higher efficiency power grid for the boat? Yes. Yes. Yes, it does. Does that answer your question? <laughs> and then we would motor further without the generator. Yeah, then we wouldn't have to use the generator. What is our home port? Our home port is Baltimore, Maryland. Go Ravens. We haven't been back there though in a very long time. We're really excited to get there soon-ish. Not really very soon. Oh, but we're driving up there excited. in May. And we're very excited. What is our destination? Our destination on this day? day is West Palm Beach. And on this trip is Annapolis, Maryland. They went to Annapolis the long way. Yeah. Our desti it's funny because our destination keeps changing. Because um, when we started out, we were starting from Maryland and our destination was the Azores. <laughs> but our trip destination is Annapolis. So the really cool part, when we get to West Palm, that is where we anchored to leave for the Brahamas when we started our Atlantic crossing. Mm -hmm. So that'll be like full circle for the Atlantic circle we will have completed the loop it's really yes, exciting <laughs> really exciting yeah last time we were in west palm beach we were leaving for our atlantic crossing and i was scared out of my mind so like, it's gonna ah! be really strange to come back after three years including two atlantic crossings and so many more amazing places that we've seen returning to west palm beach is going to be just like surreal. really surreal experience for us We are definitely different people from when we left West Palm Beach last. Mm. Kirby's hair looks a lot better now. Yes, it does. I'm assuming well, we did this collaboration with Bums on a Boat, uh, yeah. uh, where Michael gave me a haircut. Michael actually cut Herbie's hair, and I cut Joel's hair. So Michael did a really nice job, and, and Herbie looks much better <laughs> than he did before. Well, it's hard getting haircuts in COVID. Yeah. Do we see Palm Sickle Island to our starboard? Uh, if it's that, that has a lot of palms on it. Yeah, actually, might just spin the camera and show them. Yeah, I think I we think do. So. Let me show you. You gotta wait, come in. Mm -hmm. This is our starboard. And that's a lot of palms. And that is a lot of palm trees. Homesickle Island. That's a hilarious name. Yeah. Let's see if it's. Oh, is it, is that it? Uh, it doesn't say its name. Oh, it name. doesn't say it on Navionics? It says Palm Beach and then Everglades Islands. Everglades Island Concrete 11 Fish Haven. Oh, Square. Greg's first offshore was from Miami to Bimini. Ours was. <laughs> annoying yep uh our yeah. first offshore was to kitty hawk north carolina from uh the opening of, of chesapeake. the chesapeake bay yeah. will we trade in our vessel for another sailing vessel during the annapolis boat show no yeah. we will not 
we love to look at other boats on our in the boat show but we are so happy with the two boats that we currently have um, especially wisdom and we will never ever sell wisdom but unless we're decrepit and like our the, children don't want her <laughs> like the parties sold their boat yeah after they were like 80 yeah <laughs> got to take care of the boat. Are we going to be holding any Patreon events in May? Yes, yes. we are. Uh, Colin is going to be sailing the bay uh, the first week. Oh, that thing behind you, just give it a twist. The strap down at the bottom. Charlie untwisted it. That's why it's rattling so bad. About that. Yeah, it's horrible. Um, we'll definitely set up uh, a Patreon event with Charlie. The Charlie's eating the boat. <laughs> we'll definitely right. set up a Patreon event uh, in May and we'll let you know when that is. We love doing Patreon events when we go back to Baltimore. We're going to be trying to do one in Florida as well. Um, I so, should do one in West Palm. Oops. We're going to be here for a little bit. So, we, yeah, we'll uh, we'll absolutely be letting people know. Uh, we, we can't wait. It's so fun to meet patrons. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you got, Charlie. You got some birds going What on. do you want? Uh, yay. Oh, Jerry's following us on ah. Google Maps. Jerry, you have a great name. SV Allegro says, I've really enjoyed the collaborations uh, we've done. Project Atticus and Uma did one. Ah. It's really cool. I love doing collaborations. Um, it's really fun to just hang out with ah. other YouTube people who sail because it, it's, oh goodness, it's a hilarious kind of uh, it's just fun to be with others that are also holding cameras all the time <laughs> and like we'll just like do an aside to the okay thanks Charlie we'll just do an aside to a camera and then come back to the conversation like it's it's just a really funny come dynamic come here angry chicken angry chicken <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we love collaborations. We, tr we try to do as many as we can. The ones that we've done, we've loved the channels. I think we've done one with MJ Sailing, yeah, uh, Jessica Ryan. and Ryan Adventures, who are great people. Bums on a boat. And I think that's, oh, and, Ke uh, and Kevin Boothby. Yeah, Jerry. So right now we're going about yeah. Right now we're going about three knots, yep. I'd say, um, which is all right. We prefer to be going a little bit faster, but with the current battery bank as it is, uh, we'd rather go a little slower and not run the generator for this live video. Or at all. Or at all. Uh, just to update you guys. No one asked that question. I just offered that <laughs> information. Royal Park Bridge, Royal Park Bridge. This is northbound sailing vessel Vista. Oh, and Mothership Adrift, how, how could we have forgotten? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we love Mothership Adrift. We were with them in Spain, and we even Royal were Park on their Bridge, boat with them in um, northbound sailing vessel Wisdom. <laughs> in um, okay, the Balearic. So They're gonna open for us. Ten thirty. Ten thirty. Twelve thirty. Okay, I was gonna say ten thirty past like two hours ago. Yeah, we'll get there just that time. Perfect. Jerry, I'd love it if you didn't break my hat. Thanks. That's what Cape Verde had. Yeah. Maybe just take it off. No. <laughs> right. I know MJ are in Annapolis right now. We can't wait to see them when we get back. They're re they're building a boat. A boat? Uh. 
Uh, is Herbie going back into the family business for a bit? Yes, the month of he May. will be. In the month of May, he's going to be um, dentisting. <laughs> and uh, his dad, <laughs> oh yes, his dad is really excited to have us there um, <laughs> because he's, he's been kind of running the ship while we're actually running our ship. So, uh, yeah, Herbie's going to be doing that and I'll be painting a lot. And every time we go back to Maryland, Herbie is doing dentistry. When we do get back to Annapolis and we're working on our second boat, um, Herbie is going to be dentisting, which is a new verb, to dentist. Yeah. We need the extra cash for our refit. <laughs> but also, he just enjoys it, right? Yeah. Yes, he very much I've does it. I've missed it. <laughs> You didn't catch that. He said, I've missed it. Jerry is really intent on destroying everything that just I'm wearing. Just take it off, babe. <sighs> I need to brace the hair. It's really for the hat hair. Just for take it off, hair. babe. She's really going to destroy it. Uh, okay. You're not going to have a hat. Uh, Jerry. Can I help you? Welcome to ICW with Rigging Doctor. Keeping the parrots from destroying everything. <laughs> it's pretty much what we do all day. <laughs> all right. Uh, you should have a diesel marine DC 5 kV generator, either air cooled or a closed circuit liquid cooler for when it's necessary. Also for a safety margin, you already use diesel to heat the cabin. Yes, but it doesn't fit. Yes, yeah, but it does not fit. We had a diesel generator for a bit. We never actually installed it. It was huge. Yeah, we bought it for a hundred bucks. So we bought it for a hundred bucks off of this guy in Tercera. Tercera in the Azores. And then we got rid of it later that year in Tercera. <laughs> Without saying it. Gave it away. Gave it away. Jerry, don't eat my shirt. Please. Is that another spam call? Hello? It's Mike. Oh. Hello? His phone is dead. It was right away. Oh. All right. Hey, 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 <coughs> Jerry. No. Is it back? And we're back. Sorry, Sorry. guys. Uh, are we familiar with Captain Rick? Yes, we are. It's, uh, it's text and Yeah. Um, yes, we have seen Captain Rick, and I believe he has a um, gray, what does he have, an African gray? <laughs> Come here. Step up. Step up. Whoop. Step up. Good step up. Good girl. Let's put you somewhere else. Charlie. Yeah. Um, yeah, doesn't he have an African gray? Yes. Yeah. Rick Moore. Yep. Yes, Charlie, my goodness. Yeah. Someone should invent a hat that has lots of parrot toys to keep them occupied. It's called a hat. That would, I, yeah, Herbie just said that. That's called a hat. Parrots make toys out of literally everything. We've got a boat full of toys and they still are like, I'm going to eat your hat. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Yeah. into the whole caging thing um, when, when we're not doing a live video it's actually a lot less of a pro holy crap. Charlie hey Charlie girl you she like just discovered that she could do that yep um yeah it's usually not this insane uh 
or maybe we're just hyper aware of how insane it actually is <laughs> now that we're uh, live. But Charlie, girl. Usually Hi, I'm Charlie. just like reading and Herbie's driving or I'm driving and Herbie's doing some boat work and it's like so not hectic with the birds but right now. It's just crazy. But no, we don't have a cage for them. Uh, we just take them everywhere. And when we leave them in the boat, we leave them after sunset so they're just asleep. Hey, Charlie girl. Charlie, no, no. It's Charlie. She's beating the Lucy. Oh, man. Charlie! Charlie, look! Paper! I know how much you like paper. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Hey! Uh, just back to the Lucy. Hi, Jerry. Can you just take the Lucy away from me? Yeah. Frozen. Uh, that is such a tiny boat. Oh, what a it's tiny, like, cute little boat. It's like a sports car. Let's watch it. A sports car of water. But a European one. Where did you enter the ICW to start your challenge? Um, we what? entered right after the very first bridge because we couldn't fit under it and it was a fixed bridge fort so lauderdale. fort lauderdale is where we entered in the inlet and we've been going since then uh, we the oh gosh charlie stop eating things we've been going since fort lauderdale for a few days now she can't do anything to the shrimp okay no, Charlie. Charlie, look at all these things. What about the actual food? <laughs> like the pellets. I did put pellets. I know, I know, but Actually, it's like... Actually, she ate them all. Oh. Right. I'll get more. Maddie, we'll be right back. I'll be right back. Until then. There's a scene. Hi, guys. Charlie! Oh, the paper got blown in the wind, and now it's the best toy. <laughs> My goodness. I like how she just saw the pellets and was like, oh yeah, she's little. Yeah. Why don't you turn it towards you? That's a much more interesting sight. Okay. More interesting than Jerry trying to get pellets? <laughs> Okay, so we are approaching the next bridge uh, that you can maybe see through our Dodger. Maybe not. Maybe not. Neither can I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're approaching our next bridge, which is... Royal Park Bridge. The Royal Park Bridge. We've already requested their opening. And it's... 12.30, which is in 10 minutes. So we only have to wait 10 minutes for this one. Yay! And then our anchorage is right after this, so... Oh, we're almost there. Yes. Wow! Yes. Very good. We are almost there, which is great because I'm really hungry. I'm defrosting shrimp, which, Charlie's which Charlie is on. eating, uh, for our lunch. Jerry's butt. Well, it's better than my butt. Charlie, stop eating the plastic shrimp bag, please. I, I point out something humorous about diesel motors and the ICW. Yes. So we went very slowly from that bridge to this bridge. And the island packet that was ahead of us that like rocketed away has been waiting at this bridge this whole time. He's just floating right there. So, bridges. Stuff. We air draft more than 60? No, we do not. Um, You're about 55. Yeah, we think we're 55. <laughs> I've never measured our mast. I've measured other people's masts. Yeah. And 
Um, yeah. We've measured them. We know the measurements of masts that have been anchored next to us. Uh, we do fit under most of the fixed bridges in the ICW. Yeah, there was that one. There was just one that yeah, we North don't of fit Miami under. that was 56. And so that's why we started in Fort Lauderdale. But every other bridge we can fit under, which is really awesome. What is a uh, big marina coming? Oh, yeah, they're building a marina. Wow. Now that you know the ICW goes through Alabama, you should check out Lulu's. It's Jimmy Buffett's sister's place. You can get, you can eat, get gas, dock, cool place. Very neat. I'm very intrigued by this extended ICW knowledge. I'm yeah, excited about that. it. Yes, Jerry. Jerry is also excited. Charlie is preoccupied. We're just kind of spinning in circles, waiting for this bridge. Here it is. It's a really pretty bridge. Yeah. Royal Park Bridge. This is northbound SV Bagari Mari on standby for your next opening. And that is them. Yeah, so back in college, my organic chemistry professor loved bridges, like, so much. And Dr. Lacumberi, if you're watching, you uh, greatly impacted me. Now I just look at bridges from, like, like just the beauty standpoint of it because she pointed out they're so interesting because when you use them you don't see how pretty they are to admire them you have to not be using them because you have to be over here not crossing it and yeah like she'd find vacations to places that had these really cool bridges and take pictures of them and like it's organic chemistry so you know, most people are falling asleep and then she like pulls up a picture of a bridge and starts talking about the bridge and then how it relates to chemistry somehow but yes how so did I we connect the hard panels over your soft bimini <laughs> dynema dynema it's just tied on this is not seaworthy this is icw worthy this is why we waited so long to put these extra panels because I would not go out into the ocean oh, no. with the panels the way they are. They're just tied on to the bimini. Yeah. Um, but they're really sturdy. Yeah, I bolted them to each other and then tied the whole assembly on. So it's, it's not legit. We're gonna make a hard dodger and like mount them to that and that'll be better. But this was a, this was a temporary fix thing. Oh, we are being blown into our neighbors. Let's stay friends and not crash. <laughs> this is the guy we saw yesterday, though, wasn't? Wasn't he the one that was going to West Palm yesterday? That was that was the naked truth. Oh yeah. Yeah, these were anchored in Boca Raton next to us. Right. And I thought they were long from, uh, Key Biscayne. Yeah. So I went over to say hi again, and then so then we were like, oh, we're both going to West Palm, so we'll meet up there. Cool. So and here we are, both going to West Palm. So West Palm is just over there. It's literally past this bridge before the next bridge. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, guys. We're almost there. Our anchorage is literally right there. We are almost there. Um, so, as soon as we get past this bridge, we'll be finding a spot to anchor and dropping the anchor. Now, ah! we're going to be doing that, and you'll kind of be more of a fly on the wall for that because we do need to communicate with each other a lot while we're uh, figuring out our anchorages. How we usually, do, I'll get behind the helm and find our spot, and Kirby will go up and ready the anchor for dropping. When I say so, he'll drop it. And yes. uh, we always anchor with seven to one scope at least. So uh, if I recall correctly, we've been doing five to one. Lately. We've been doing five to one because it's, it's so and calm. It's super calm. Yeah. If I recall correctly, this anchorage is pretty shallow yep. and between those two and narrow. So we yep. won't be letting out a ton of scope because we don't want to swing around and hit things. Yeah. Well, last night we only had 40 feet. Of it. Wow. Yeah. Just so crazy. The difference between anchoring here and anchoring in like the islands. The real world. Anchor. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so normally we let out minimum 100 feet, let the anchor set, and then we put out between 140 to 180 feet. And 
now we're putting out 40 feet total. Damien is asking some awesome questions. What is our favorite artist slash band? Demon Hunter. <laughs> Herbie likes Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter or In This Moment. I really Those like um, Mumford and Sons, The Decemberists, and the Decemberists are nice. Bon Iver or Bon Iver, uh, and Sufjan Stevens. Those are my favorite artists uh, slash bands. Now, you asked the question, what are my favorite artists? So I have to answer that, even though that's not what you meant, <laughs> because I'm an artist. So my favorite artists are, um, uh, well, mine's quicker. Herbie's is quicker. Jeff Koons. Je Herbie likes Jeff Koons, which is, yep. is a, uh, he's a contemporary artist. Oh, my, yeah. my favorites are, yes, Greg, you got it. My favorites are Magritte. Um, and I really like, uh, Derain. And I also really like, uh, Rothko, Mark Rothko. Those are my favorite artists. I hope you are excited to know that. <laughs> what brand and model drone do we have? Good question. We have a um, DJI Spark. And he only does up to 1080. So we're kind of in the market for a new one that does 4K. But for now, the Spark we got, we chose because it's really small and, and we can stow it really easily and it was affordable at the time. Yeah, we're looking at getting the uh, Mavic Air Pro 2 because it's much better. Oh my gosh, S but. Sailing Yacht Vagamundo is in the Azores. Oh. Which island oh. are you on? I want to know. Vagamundo's the guy that was in uh, Culebra. Oh my gosh! Good. You I'm made you it! Got, yes. Oh, Excellent. congratulations! Yay! Good, good. Wow, that was a quick passage. Well done. It's been a long time. Oh, it has? Yeah, it's been months. Oh. <laughs> Since we were in Culebra. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was like February. Um, How does anchoring in the ICW work? Is it free? Yes, yes uh, it's free. The marinas along the ICW are incredibly expensive. So we just anchor and you basically there are designated anchorage all anchorages all up and down the icw it's pretty much if there's deep enough water outside the channel it's an anchorage now whether or not there's shore access from that anchorage is variable so one of the reasons we love this anchorage in west palm that we're waiting for right now uh is because there is such amazing land access so that's not always the case in north carolina there tends to be a lot of great land access and even um dinghy docks specifically for cruisers that are anchoring in the icw which is amazing i think there's a boat show because the city pier turns into the boat show piers and it is full of super yachts right now oh my gosh so if that's the case we anchor on this side yeah and then we just dinghy over last time uh we were here we didn't have outboards we to for our dinghy so we were rowing so it was really important to anchor really close to land but um thankfully Oops, now we have an outboard <laughs> oh yes this is live alan this is very live the most live jerry go back up go up 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 up, up. there you go yeah jerry it's like trying to get on the helm i'm like i am steering a lot right now <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> do we have? Do I have an art website? Yes. I did. I it's don't know if it still it's still exists. It's not <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. It. it is Artistic Eye Studio. No, it isn't. Yes. It's Sokolar Arts. With yeah, with yeah. Yeah. I have an art Instagram, which is Artistic Eye Studio. E Y E. And I have a, uh, I have a very outdated art website uh, called Sokolar Arts, S-O-C-O-L-A-R-A-R-T-S uh, dot com. 
I really need to update it. <laughs> but I just did two paintings this week and I've got three more to do. Um, so I'm really excited. I love receiving art commissions. If you guys have like pets or people that you want portraits of, I that's what I do. So get in touch. This is wisdom. Okay, there's a stalled vehicle uh, on the bridge. That's probably why there's a yellow flashy light. Guy. That's Lagari Mari standing by on And there's the tow truck. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, yeah, there's the stalled vehicle right there. And there's the tow truck. Hi, Jerry. Jerry, what do you want? know some people that would be enraged that the bridge is late to open. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not us. <laughs> you want to be right here? Charlie went to sleep. <laughs> oh, Charlie's <Yep>. awake. <laughs> Charlie's going back to Jerry, sleep. Jerry, I can't read the comments with you on my arm. There, she's asleep again. She's got a foot tucked in. Oh. Adorable. Oh. There's Charlie taking a nap. Whoa, Patrick is trying to get an autograph from Mr. Coons. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, SV Allegro is an art teacher and she really enjoyed back. Sorry about that. Um, I'm an art teacher too, Allegra. I was an art teacher, a high school art teacher. Uh, until we, I quit when we left to go cruising. And I thought I'd only be quitting for a year, and it's been four. But I do plan on going back to it eventually. Okay, Alan says, I've heard Florida has had some pretty draconian anchoring rules at least last year. No, they still do. They still do. Yeah, pretty much if your boat is ugly, they will kick you, like the cops will come right away to kick you out. Because the people who look at you don't want to look at it. Uh, so we made sure that we did like all of our projects that were like installing the solar panels and keep skiing where they don't do that. And then when we were going through Fort Lauderdale, the boat looked really pretty. And then after Fort Lauderdale, we got all this extra wood and <laughs> stuff and we started building things again. Uh, so yeah, you gotta, you gotta be careful with that. The boat has to look pretty or they will call you call the cops on you are we thinking about replacing the diesel heater with something electrical no, no. So we nice. love our diesel heater it's a dickinson and uh, it's a dickinson diesel heater we kept our diesel uh our, our diesel tank specifically for it and it just warms the boat so cozily every winter that we've lived aboard which has been many one thing with the anchoring rules afternoon roll park bridge is preparing to open all requested vessels please remain outside the finish until the bridge is fully raised. Stand by on zero nine. So when we were anchored here three years ago, uh, we were fine, but there was this boat that came in that looked like a trash heap. And he anchored and in like 10 minutes, the cops came by and told him he had to leave. And he was like, all these other boats are anchored here. And the cop was like, what can I say? And they kept hounding the dude for like a few hours and then he left, and uh, it's, it's then they not, never bothered us it's or not anyone nice. else. Yeah. Yeah, it's really not nice. Am I painting a board? I am painting a board. Would you like to see a painting that I just completed? I'll take you to it. While we're getting ready. Oh, and you can hear the motor right now. That is the sound of the motor, that kind of whir.
So that was my chickens. <laughs> it's getting shallow. Are the birds ticklish? <laughs> oh, that's oh, the bolt meter. Oh, 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 can't chew on the bolt meter, Jerry. Sorry. Let's put it inside. Yeah. Uh, I wish they were. That'd be hilarious. They are not. <laughs> but they do react when you. Yeah, how you how you doing, Jerry? Coming on. Uh, yeah, so if I paint on board out on a commission basis. Uh, people commission me and I do their paintings. <laughs> it's great. It's fantastic how it works out. So I'm not doing anything huge, but you know, 16 by 20 is a pretty good. I, I just turned the entire salon into my studio <laughs> and uh, Herbie does something else for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, uh, Itamar Degani. Gosh, I love seeing all of these names, guys. So they have removed the vehicle, it looks like. Or they cleared it, I don't know. Yeah, oh, there goes the bridge. Okay, okay. Good. It's got a powerboat here to go by, and it's opening. It we're almost at our anchorage. So as soon as we go through this bridge, guys, the anchorage is right, um, the anchorage is right, right there. there. So I'm going to be putting the iPad down and uh, steering us to our our uh, des our well pre-designated anchorage spot. So you'll just kind of hear our communication or lack thereof as we figure out where we're actually going to anchor. That's a really good idea, Alan. I like that. Uh, to put a little rigging doctor card for the channel in the back of my artwork. Yeah. All right, we're going through the bridge. Yes, that rattle is a water valve. <laughs> Ignore the really dirty deck and Isenglass. Oh, I didn't realize it was. switch over. I'm going to grab the helm. Kirby's going to take the motor. I mean, take the anchor over. Up. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I know, Jerry. So upsetting. All right. What I'm going to do is place this somewhere that makes sense. So, Mads, just yeah. say, on Navionics, it has the, the boat show bridge set up got the boat show grid set up oh. so those piers are not physically present oh, that's funny but when I did the update on this one they were so okay. so that's why that's there do you want to look at my phone instead yeah. the phone doesn't have this grid okay. not that you know you're not able to physically I, I understand yeah okay here are both items love you bye bye uh, uh, why is the motor off? 
Okay. So I'm gonna go right past the uh, red one and then turn in. I knew you would look out for that. Ha! Apparently there's a catch here that was also here when we left and he was giving us a lot of flack about our lack of experience and stuff. And uh, all he does is go back and forth between here and the Bahamas. So now we can brag about all our experience. <laughs> We're drifting back with the current. The current's really strong right here. I'll show you our view. That beeping you're hearing is because the motor is... Oh, ah. 
Here we are. Yes. Oh my gosh, Sorry how annoying was that? Sorry guys. Well, for the 26 of you who are still here, we have completed our trip we with you anchored. and we really thank you for being there for uh, for all that time. Really, that was the longest live video I've ever done or seen. <laughs> Hi Penwolf <laughs> Sailing Adventures. Um, we I just feel so grateful for you guys to be to have asked all those really good questions throughout that journey. I'll show you uh, where we are right now. It's quite nice. It's really wonderful. We're so excited to be here. That's my face. So as you can see, we're anchored between these two city piers. There's one and there's the other. So it's a nice small anchorage and uh, not too crowded. Lots of wonderful things to kind of watch and it's just it's just so peaceful and wonderful here we're, we're really excited to be here so um we're gonna wrap this up it's been a super long live video and really kudos to anybody who is watching this not live and has made it all the way through wow <laughs> um you have anything else you want to say before we conclude no oh, thanks for uh coming along and it this has been like just such a long trip that we've been on and like some of the places we go like when we're there we're thinking like this is cool for us but no one's gonna ever come here because but like this is just so off the beaten path but the icw is like so accessible to so many people and it's it's right here so if you're on the east coast or if you buy a boat on the east coast wow thank you, you. Easily... albin albin oh, oh sweet, wow that's awesome but if you're on the East Coast, you can easily just hop into this and do the ICW. And it's just, it's so accessible to everyone. So we think it's really fun to, to show you guys how easy it is. So, because there's a lot of people. All right, well, I met some people who were going down the ICW and paid a guy six grand to lead them so they wouldn't get lost. Which and is hilarious because like, it's like a road, it's like one road. This, yeah, it's you either go yeah. north or south. Like you can't get lost. So, I'm like, what? And yeah, so I've met a lot of people. I have so many questions about how the ICW works. So it's just, we wanted to just show like, this is it. This is Super it. Super easy. Uh, so guys, again, thanks for, uh, the motor is way, W-H-A-Y. I don't know what that question means. No. Sorry. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> um, okay. Hey, Teddy. <laughs> yeah, we're still streaming. We're ending it now though. So uh, thanks again for everybody who asked questions. I hope we got to answer them and uh, we will see you next oh, time. Oh, Our Sunday area, video. Oh, yeah, if yeah. you're in the area, get in touch with us. We'd love, to, we'd love to meet up. Um, our Sunday video is coming out as scheduled. So be sure to catch that and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye and bye from Charlie and Jerry. That was the thumbnail. <laughs>